We are back with pull it another up. Pull set. It up. No, 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 no. no. Oh, <laughs> thank God. Um, Not the milk chocolates. Okay. Can we, uh, can we, uh, can we uh, focus up here? Yeah, I'm focused. <laughs> okay. You sure? You, you, Were we you good? Give them too much we simmered? Power. I did give them too much power, and I need to take it back. I pull it. Exactly. I'm trying, I'm trying to re that? reel us back in. Okay, we're back with a new, with another uh, session of <laughs> the Great War. Um, so previously, the lot of you uh, went out into the jung or the swamps of Ustesh to go and infiltrate mm. a enemy uh, laboratory that was hidden away deep within the swamps within a cobalt village. Um, going through. You witnessed a the sniper who had been running around in those swamps take out a scientist you guys came across, as well as uh, convinced a few kobolds that you just wanted to see the lab because you belong there. Um, upon getting in there, one of you freed a creature, um, Hi. not realizing what it was, and allowing it to feed and grow in size. Later, discovering what the creature was. Um, as you had found a fully grown one that was out in part of the swamp that uh, ate the scientist that you guys had uh, dragged along with you. Um, during the fight, three of you ended up getting ingested in some way, shape, or form during the time and managed to finish the fight with soap going down before beginning a rapid transformation that was stopped on two separate occasions before he was just left unconscious, zero hit points, and stable. Um, Hoorah. I, so what we'll do real quick, you guys all go to the briefing room, as we are now. Mm -hmm. On arrival, Talo is waiting for you. Um, am I in the briefing room, or am I in a coma? Cody, what is this? <laughs> you are back in the briefing room. You have been patched up. You are healed. It's been a few days. You guys have had, had a few weeks. Um, I forgot to change the date on that thing. But during that time, you guys are all gathering up in the, uh, in the meeting room. And upon entering, uh, Talos begins his briefing once you've all sat down. <laughs> I don't like the noises I'm hearing from all of you. <laughs> talking about gluing Furby ears to a dinosaur mask. <laughs> this is why I have push to talk. <laughs> that is horrific. Um, anywho, the lot of you are. Uh, so I, I want you all sat down. He says, um, he begins the briefing. Just one of our Lost spies our reported uh, reported He's a back. bio. What? Yeah, so I was just our, informing you we lost the wizard. Oh, one of one of our spies has. Uh, reported a bioweapon located at an unmarked facility in the Gorgonian Desert. Your objective as a whole is to get in there and destroy the bioweapon by any means necessary. Um, your company will, be, will lead the assault, while Spark Company will assist you in bypassing any security protocols along the way, and Dragon Company will provide a clean uh, getaway LZ for you. Um, we do not have any weapons or any information on this weapon, or the facility at this time, so proceed with caution uh, as you go and search for the weapon. It is possible this is a trap, so be prepared for a fight upon arrival. Uh, we are counting on all of you to get rid of this weapon before it can be used. Any questions before we send you out? So we're walking into a trap, and we know it's a trap? Like, just flat out, like, that's, that's the plan? It is a possible trap. We do not know if they are waiting for us or if this is simply a facility that they don't know that we have found. Hmm. All, All right. right. Sounds good to me. Do we know the local weather conditions? Should we expect to have any cover from sandstorms, anything like that? Uh, unlikely, uh, though that can change at any time. Somebody just left the meeting room. <laughs> he just yep, walked I'm going to go find Cerberus. He's not in this facility. Where the 
fuck is he at? He has his own lab. He doesn't he doesn't hang out in here. He 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 is a very high priority individual within the the thing. So he's not he's not in your guys' specific compound. Um the rest of you though, I guess are you guys going to go and try to join him on this excursion of uh going and finding Cerberus? I I I I'm just I'm going to go look real quick. For obvious reasons. All right. Uh, is, is there any preparing that any of you need to do? Um, before this operation occurs. Make sure to restock on stims, everyone. I was going to say I haven't used any stims, so my inventory still got them. Uh, I yeah, restock on those. Do you do whatever uh, restocking you do. Speak with one another on your plan. Um. I'm currently Some making a correction to feral something. Goblins. I think I mean I, I'm I'm pretty good. Why is he still going through this fucking? Is he really? Are they are they still on the shit, bro? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 dude. I want something else, bro. What are you talking about? You're on R slash furry IRL. We didn't need okay. to announce that to the world, but <laughs> we we really did. And here we yeah. are. Okay. And the fact that you're watching means you're a furry. <laughs> so what's the nearest city to this base um this is located let me pull up the map so i can give you a <laughs> more decisive answer not working, bro. i'm this trying to is... get better at paying attention to the world. yes uh it is currently located between the cities of argrith and uh mizod um kind of near that central cool. point of the western deserts of Gorgana. Okay, so we're in the enemy continent. Yes. Um so if you have well if a lot of you have any preparing to do, do so. You will be uh <laughs> leaving within the hour. And uh <laughs> Say to giggle themselves. Do they have any specialty uh, hmm? crafting shit? Do we? Do they, do they like like does 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 the military company we work for have uh, like? Uh, I think that's a good question. Do we have supplies? Like, do we you... have access to like a store we could like get powdered diamond from? Yeah, are we you, like so... in the? Here is the thing that me and you had agreed on. You have access to a certain amount of money's worth of materials at the beginning of each op. And I can't okay. think of what the number was. I think it was a thousand. Compound? It, 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 it's, it, a lot of this stuff is like high value. So? How like high? 50, like one spell costs me a ruby that is worth 50 gold or or a hundred gold worth of powdered diamond i think the number i gave you was i think in the beginning it was 500 i will say a thousand gold worth would that yeah, compound over that. time so if not used it'll carry over to the next mission uh any materials he doesn't use can be like kept but it's it's not like, like he can so, make a stockpile. He needs it. It's if you need more stuff, you can get more stuff. But it's not like by the end, of, like there, there's limits to it. I'm gonna put it that way. Then, um, can I also check out the armor? I I don't know how I did that, but I ended up in the seventy second chat somehow. That's crazy. Anywho, um, yeah, if you want to look through your armories and stuff, like. And in armory that, hasn't been updated in a minute. Like I've been we're still it. stuck on leather armor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I. <laughs> to yeah. be honest, the only thing I've really kept up with was the the uh, the arcane 
radiation stems. That is it. Bro, um, I'm sorry. We, we we walked into the arby, arbory and just started complaining. I walked over the little, like, magical po potion dispenser. It's like, what the fuck? It's not working. <laughs> it's you out know, of I juice. I walked over to, to the armor stands and just sees one pair of fucking, like, leather pants. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, can we... Get okay. I will, slightly better armor. If someone wants better <laughs> armor, I will let you go a step up. It's non magical, but you can go a step up to whatever you like. What are you wanting? Specific people, what are you wanting for armor? Uh, let me look first. The day I have been, I, I have been bad about it. I'm sorry. I'm tracking a lot of shit at my the same time. My fucking AC has been like 10 this entire time, bro. I was gonna say, mine, my, mine's 16. Uh, I still want to go light armor. Listen, all I'm saying is, for an AC of 10, I've been doing pretty alright. <laughs> you were doing good up till the gator got its hands on you. Yes. <laughs> and Bro, the gator started down. touching you and it was over. <laughs> Pause. It made him feel oh. something. <laughs> no, stop. I didn't even go that far. <laughs> yeah, it made him feel dead. <laughs> It's usually my job is to make shit uncomfortable. <laughs> you don't have proficiency. Like, not. You're a wizard. What? You don't have proficiency with armor, bro. You're a <laughs> wizard, <laughs> Harry. So, so what if, instead, I, I got a magical robe? I will give you bracers of defense. Hell yeah. I will I will let you have that considering you have had an AC of ten this entire time and we're on episode ten now. So so what if on top of that I also on my downtime have been working on a ring of protection? Considering you might, a lot you of, might, uh, there, I, I will had let a you... lot of downtime that was just unexplained. Yes. Um I will say it's in the making. I will say you will get it during your R and R session next time. Hell Damn, bro. All oh man. Half plate screws with a uh, stealth. I forgot about that. Any medium and heavy armor, most of it screws with stealth. Um Okay. Will this screw my You want to see you want to see Cerberus though? Yeah, I want to see the boy. Do all of you want to go see Cerberus with him before you go off on the mission? We stick as a team. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, we stick as a team. Give me uh uno momento, por favor. Uh we uh we fix this. So a lot of you before mission start up. Of course you had to put yourself in a weird spot. Yeah, I'm making your life difficult. I Don't. had to go back and pull you here so I could activate this place. All right, I'm pulling everyone to the lab. You guys should be rolling oh, in here in a minute. So before your mission, after you are given an hour, you do know where the lab is that Cerberus was given, um, kind of located near the center of the base, um, near a couple of the other uh, medical facilities within the base. Um, you are standing out front of the the... Probably one of the few steel buildings, though, that are out here, or at least metal building. So very you're nice, here. Very nice. I hear. Yes, you are. You are at the. The map is loaded. You can see your character. Okay, I'll walk right in. Hey. Me. <laughs> okay, so as you as you all kind of walk into the lab, you can see Cerberus off to the left side is mixing you know various chemicals um <laughs> and you see you see one of his you see the right head of him is currently it has a sleep mask on like the eye mask and its head <laughs> is kind of like tilted down and is like currently snoring the middle one is currently messing with the actual like focused on the potions and stuff that he's or whatever he's mixing oh, and look at that the left head just turns and kind of looks to all of you and kind of uh, gives you all kind of like a semi-welcoming smile. 
<laughs> uh, first things first. Oh, holy shit! Why does each individual head sleep individual? <laughs> <laughs> Are you Why asking you this in character or out of character? <laughs> uh, out of character. Out of character. Okay. Like an asshole. <laughs> I'll tell you, because I think I, I made a comment about it before. It's so that he doesn't have to sleep. The heads That's take turns so each nutty. one can do its own thing. Fucking nutty. Uh, two, as we as I walk in, because I was the first to move my character, I walk in and it's like, hey, nice setup. As, as I'm like glancing around. <laughs> he kind of, uh, the, the one head who's paid attention to you guys kind of, uh, Gives a slight chuckle, the other one kind of glancing from his chemicals for a moment before uh, he, like, sets each of them down. Kind of brushes his hands off and turns to a lot of you, kind of makes his way over. And he says, um, your, go your government has been treating me quite nicely. Um, how can we assist all of you? Um, I, I point over it, so... <laughs> I've gotten myself into a bit of a predicament. Um, as you might be aware from our first interaction, I have one curse placed upon me already with the order I'm currently part of. However, because of a recent mission, I've contracted lycanthropy as well. And the two curses seem to be clashing. You see... The left head shows a look of surprise. The middle one looks extremely intrigued. And the third one seems to wake up as he pulls like the eye the mask off of the third eye. eye. Yeah. <laughs> and just when kind of like it... smacking his lips looks a little like confused. <laughs> Would it be possible to make a medication, something, a potion even? I could take that could at least give me some stability so that I may use the transformations without it ripping me apart. Hmm. It would take a bit of time, but I could possibly do something. And kind of gestures he's like, come with me real quick. He watches he oh, need blood. walks blood. back here, comes over to the doorway on this side and opens it and is waiting for you by the door. Oh, dude, I am lagging so hard with this. What do you have cooking in here? And he goes over here, and he you watch as he just, like, pushes all of these vials off the table, and they just, like, shatter on the ground next to this vent over here. And it just gestures to the, the table and just says, lay on this table for a moment. <laughs> uh, He's strong, right? Uh, Cerberus? Yeah, like, he looks like he could probably hold me down. Oh, 100%. He is All also, right, then, like, yeah. 12, 13 feet tall. Okay. Also, I was gonna... Yeah, I'll, I'll ask after. Yeah. He, uh, as as he does this, you watch him kind of reach into the coat, that, or the, 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 the... Yeah, the coat he's wearing. And with one hand, he pulls out what looks to be an odd, uh, cubed-shaped gadget of sorts. Um... In the other hand, you see him pull out a set of glasses that, it, you know, those glasses that have the multiple um, different lenses on it. So you can like zoom in and out on things. Kind of the tinkerer's yeah. glasses. He takes yeah. one of those yeah, and look. like puts it on the 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 right head or the left head. And as he, as you're laying down, like mm -hmm. each of the heads is like observing a different part of you, like looking you over closely. And he's like has this box in his hands and is like messing with it. You see different components coming out different uh little appendages and things coming off of it and occasionally you feel like a prick in your side or other places as he's like using this device on you and the whole time each of the heads is just muttering to each other and just like the language seems to shift continuously as he is doing this so like you get some of it and then some of it it does you don't get Okay. And after a moment, he kind of the box. He like kind of folds the box back up to its cube shaped form, tosses it over his shoulder, pulls out something else that you don't quite see for a second before you feel a like a burning in your arm. 
uh, for a few moments. And when he pulls his hand back and you see he had a very large syringe in his hand now full of blood. <laughs> As expected. And says, oh, uh, by the way, Cerberus, I've been hearing voices uh, while he's like doing all this. I'll be like, yeah, so I've also been hearing voices um, telling me to go to the field and uh, all of that. So all in all, I'm not too good. But if this can at least be semi-fixed, then I'll be much happier. And I can't fucking wait for him to turn to you and be like, I diagnose you with schizophrenia. He <laughs> <laughs> says, Vo voices, you say? Uh, mm -hmm. When did this all begin? And you watch as he like, turns and like sets the the vial down on this little table here and then like starts digging through the drawers of the thing and like pulls out more things and turns back to you and is like he's got like three different stones in his hand that he's like waving over you like it, by this point it's going more from like a medical thing to almost like a like a witch doctor or like voodoo where they just kind of like wave stones and crystals over you to like figure <laughs> yeah. out what's wrong with you He's like, oh my god, it's because Saturn's in retrograde. And then I'm Your like, what the fuck's that mean? Balance, bro. <laughs> no, but not, I, he, asked, he asked me that, I'm going to just stone face look at him and be like, I shot a civilian. There's and a pause. it started afterwards. Yeah, there, there's a pause. And uh, you see the right Actually, head. it was the day I met you. All three heads Is look it? at you at once, and all three tilt to the same side, intrigued, and all at the same time say, "Really?" Mm -hmm. And he turns for a moment. All he turns around and starts having a conversation between himself. You could hear an argument happening from the other side of him. I'm gonna um, try to do the same. Can I roll to see if the voices speak? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna make you roll for that. The voices aren't gonna uh, say anything. But he, uh, they turn back to you. This time he is uh, pulled out a three sets of these odd looking goggles, similar to the night vision ones that Quill has. Um, but the lenses are a a crimson red color instead of the kind of yellowish or not the yellow, the greenish blue that um, <coughs> Quill's uh, goggles are. And. You watch as he puts it on each head, each head one by one gets a set of goggles and they like he like leans over you. You have no space to breathe. All three of his heads are like inches from you and looking you over and he's like grabbing at your face and like pulling and doing all this other stuff. <clears throat> if you want to try to do anything, let me know at any time. This is just me explaining what he's doing to you. Raph would be um, like, wait, I'm you shot a civilian? <laughs> are they in there? Uh, are you guys in there? Did any of you follow into the room? No, nah, I'm kind of just uh, in this front area, like looking at this. Oh yeah, I'm in the front room. area. Sorry, I'm, I wasn't looking at the map. I was picking up my uh, cat, my cat scoot out of the watch. package locker. I They're gotcha. watching me get violated in the back room. <laughs> just like what? <laughs> um, <laughs> and we're just here. No, not the please in the background. <laughs> Now cough. <laughs> this will only hurt just a bit. No, 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 no. See, like soaps half his body go out of the doorway, get dragged back in. They're they're all looking you over though, and like he's like pulling your eye open and like grabbing your jaw and like opening your mouth, like, and it's not gentle by any means. It is very forceful, <laughs> if anything. Um, you're not taking any damage. You're definitely hurting from this. But you're not. It's not causing uh, any damage. <laughs> I want to make a joke, but I'm not. I, I don't think soap's tapped enough to be doing that right now. Okay. Um. Once he is finished, though, he kind of stops for a moment, and kind of like, he he like takes a step back to like kind of give you room to breathe for a moment, tapping one of his chins. He says. I possibly know what's wrong with you, but it would require some more time, and I believe you all have a mission, don't you? Uh, indeed. But I didn't expect it to be finished in a day. That is true. Um, well, I will 
<clears throat> look at the results from the blood that I've acquired from you as he picks up the massive vial <laughs> that he has of your blood. Um, he says, oh, but before you go, and he hands you, he pulls out a small little potion, this like silvery liquid. He hands it to you and just says, drink this. It'll help with the blood loss of what I have taken. <laughs> All right, I went down it. It is a very, very bitter metallic liquid. <laughs> It's just iron. Yeah, it's, it's straight up straight like iron, iron taste. <laughs> Yummy mercury. Mm. He says, um, and, and, and he kind of like, he gestures that you can like go to the door now and he kind of looks over and sees the mess he made and he goes, I will need to clean up the vials that I've dumped onto the floor as well. But that can be taken mm. care of once you've all left. Yeah, yeah. the the lycanthrope was a uh, werebear and between, well, the team already knows, but I'd prefer the higher-ups to not be fully aware. Um, the other curse is that of the Wendigo. My sub suggestion is mm -hmm. a try not to transform while you're gone. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, and luckily I have drugs, and I'm going to skip out. <laughs> Before you go, I will... <laughs> He says, before you, before you go, I will make a note. If you do, in fact, transform, there is a teensy chance that it could mutilate you beyond recognition. Oh, cool. Okay. I definitely need to go to the armory, then. Um... Appreciate the heads up. Thank you. My skull already split in half. He, he gives you a head and just uh, he gives you. A he head. gives me a head. He rips <laughs> off one of his <laughs> heads. That's yeah, crazy. He gives, he gives you a nod. <laughs> I meant to say a nod. Okay. I don't know why I said a head. Um, <laughs> he, he gives you, all three of the heads. Give you a nod. He just says, um, it, it, "You know, use that advice as you will." You know. It's not my life on the line, but I do wish to do a bit more research on your current condition. Yeah. I'll be your test subject. It's better than dying horrifically. Middle head kind of gives a smirk. You see the, the, the right head again, like give a yawn before he pulls out the eye mask again. Like the one head is like putting it back on. Okay. Hey, the only other thing I was going to... I don't have anything else to say to him. Um, I was going to ask, would uh, serpent scale armor be allowed? It is uncommon. But... It's non-magical. I would allow it. Okay. Or is it a magical one? I thought it was scale mail. Serpent scale mail. It's made of serpent scales. Which is the same. Oh. Yeah, it says magic armor. Oh, yeah, no mag Christ. no magic. I told you no magic, man. I'm sorry. Um, ay, ay, ay. I'm not looking for a piece of armor, but I'm looking for like a ring that might give me a like, one plus dexterity just so I can remove my minus one deficit and uh get my mage armor to work properly. We can see That's about that. Best. During your that's what I was trying to do. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can see about that during I during your armor. an armor that would actually better. It's, it adds like adds two plus your dex modifier, and I have a minus one, so it gives me one extra armor, so I never cast it. Ah, uh, understandable. Uh, as you all, you know, begin to leave, Cerberus is kind of just. Standing there, the one head falling back to back to sleep or whatever. He just says, um, "Good luck on whatever <laughs> mission you're being sent on, and if you do survive, feel free to come by any time to chat." And you see, the rest of you can see the syringe he's holding. It's like a like a six inch syringe that is completely filled with blood, and it's about inch and a half in diameter with a huge needle at the end of it. And you see him just carry this this syringe. He walks past soap and comes over here, and it just begins to start messing with the blood. 
just like starts dropping it into different vials and starts putting it in different machines that he has set up and uh is completely ignoring all of you as you leave so we'll do this real quick i'm gonna reactivate this room so that you all come back here for a minute and then i'm going to drag the steam stream bot <laughs> to the proper place it needs to be there we go all right so a lot of you doing whatever last minute preparations you have um uh, yeah i can't find Ooh, you I, I are... can't find armor that'll help <laughs> <laughs> you are all um all meet up at the normal uh rendezvous point of extraction i guess from the base to be sent out um Upon arriving, finding both the dragon and Spark Company waiting waiting for you. The uh, instead of doing the crate like you did last time, um, you just see that uh, Brimstone and uh, was it Acrid? Yeah, Brimstone and Acrid are just in full form. You see Spark, uh, all of Spark Company climbing onto the back of Acrid, um, holding on to these. Uh, kind of handheld holds that they like. He's got like a almost like a harness on that is that gives like holding points for them so they don't fall off his back. And you can see Brimstone has the same thing stra like set up on him for the lot of you as he is sitting there waiting for all of you to arrive. Um, some of Sp some of Dragon Company that can't do this already on the back of Brimstone while the others are getting on to Akron's back. Um, is there any RP any of you want to do, or? I'm ready to go on this mission. Okay. Gotta be sneaky, sneaky boys. <clears throat> the lot of you climb onto the back of Brimstone, and, uh, the two of him and Akron both stand up, and Brimstone just kind of turns his head a little bit to look at all of you and just says, uh, uh, I suggest holding on. I'd hate for any of you to fall while we're in flight. And he just takes off. Um, and along the way, you all watch as, you know, the ground rapidly moves away from all of you as you go into the sky, kind of getting taken up into the clouds. Um, as you all are, if I can get this to work properly, yep. Flying up. Um, is there any RP would you guys like to do with each other or any of the people on the back of Brimstone or okay right, really. I'm, um, I'm chilling uh, but just, you know, just playing with these tools uh, just like messing with <laughs> my hands <sighs> would ask, should I turn to the rest of your squad should be like that uh Mike and a kid a few missions ago he had burn marks didn't see anyone playing with fire did, did I kill him? no he died earlier it looks like they killed him as part of a sacrifice for a ritual or some sort but he didn't have any sacrificial cuts or I mean, for it to be sacrificed, I mean, they could have just burned him alive. Yeah, I did. They were magic users, so it's not out of the question. Okay, because uh, so at that point, she'll just try to turn her mind to uh, other attention. Do I need to roll a deception? Yeah, roll deception. <laughs> roll deception. She was thinking about it because you want to handle your world. Uh, roll um. Roll insight for me. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm lying straight to her face. Yeah. R Rath, you roll insight for I, me. You 100% know I'm fucking lying. Well, only a nine. I, I only got, got a two nine. with a minus one. You can tell he's lying. <laughs> She'll kind of... I don't need you to spare my feelings. I need to know the truth. Did I kill that boy? And and I just I point and I say murderer, 
Murderer! I will <laughs> shove you off this dragon. <laughs> I will I will push you off of this fucking dragon right you now. You did this. You did this. He had a family! Wrath, <laughs> to be fair, you were so far away. If you didn't, if you managed to not hit the kid, I would think, uh, I don't know, you're a fucking demigod. There's no uh, way you could have known like, it was him. He was transformed. She she kind of like has, she's, her breathing is kind of like, it's like, it's in like a halted manner, but she's kind of like clams up and kind of like starts just kind of like wordlessly like praying to her like, God, right? Forgiveness, <laughs> and I doesn't speak for like the rest of the, the um insertion. I tried, man. I tried. <laughs> so being good at deception, <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, that's the RPI one we'll do. All right, my my brain smooth. As you all arrive at the point, um, both Brimstone and Acrid kind of doing a rapid descent, landing in the sands uh, before allowing all of you to get off. Um, the scene you see, you are all in a very large, just endless desert plains. Off to your west, you can barely see the mountain range. Off to the east, you don't see anything. Just clear skies. It is hot. It is dry. Uh, there is sand everywhere. The moment you hit the ground, some of the sand starts getting in your boots. Um, and you can see hazily down on uh, in this valley between these dunes, you can see a uh, a small compound, roughly probably probably maybe a thousand feet by a thousand feet wide. This little compound with a few buildings here and there on the inside, um, and you can see a lot of them are. Uh, you see a lot of soldiers moving around. Uh, outside this compound more than it looks like it should hold but you do see people running around and like shouting and different things uh there are also alarms um going off at this moment that you guys can hear from the base oh so much for oh. stealth looks like they know we're here i mean we did just fly out on fucking dragon <laughs> Yeah, 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 you're not, you're not wrong. Well, uh, I don't know. Uh, roll out? What is the mission? We're killing some people uh, again? You oh, are, know, your job is to go and find the bioweapon and destroy it. Listen, all I'm saying that was, I was uh, RPing. I'm so <laughs> confused. <laughs> huh? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the lot of you, I guess, uh, are you, are you guys just charging down there? What kind of structures are in front of it? Kill. Nothing. It is a, there's not even a wall around this compound. It's just like a series of like five, six buildings. Are we on the high ground, low ground? Are there you are trees on the top, here? You, are on the, you are on the top of a dune. You are in the middle of a desert. There is nothing but sand. Dude, they're kind of yeah. I can't even roll in dirt. This is I'm, I'm like picking up the sand. Like this is the worst. <laughs> the stuff it doesn't it, it sticks, but it doesn't stick. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, it's it just gets in my toes, and I don't like it. Anyways, I don't know. Um, can't really go at night because it gets cold. We gotta go now. You don't have any cover. Let's. Can I get up to like a little vantage? Can I? Can I get close enough to roll a perception check and see if their alarms are going off because of us? Or you can do it from where you're at. Roll perception. All right. Woo! Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, 
15 plus 13. I'm not using my smell, so there's no advantage. Um, 28. Okay. Based on what you can tell, uh, there's more than likely something else going on. Um, there's not many soldiers looking up the hill at you. There is maybe a handful that have kind of noticed and have kind of stopped what they're doing and are kind of just like squinting up this hill. Well, um, looks like they're distracted by uh, something else. So I'd say we could move in safely. Well, I mean, if they're distracted and so like about how far away, like, can, do they know we're here or like, do they know exactly where we're at? To get down this hill to the compound, it's a roughly like three, four hundred feet. I mean, like if I were to like go behind the hills where they don't see me and then I stealth. They would not know where you are, no. You, I will say this, Soap, you do see that Dragon Company is on standby waiting for whatever orders you want to give because they are simply here to add support and spark company is looking just to see what you guys are doing because they are your backup essentially so They're basically just there to get we have security we have a warthog on standby if needed yeah ac 130 above hell yeah that's not ac 130 ac 130 above <laughs> all right let's let's roll in quick well they're busy i guess preoccupied whatever you want to call it Okay. Um, I'm gonna start not sprinting. I'm gonna stealth, but I will. Can I take the dash action and stealth? It's with disadvantage. All right, dash uh -huh. would just sorry. What? If you go, your sorry. If you are in stealth, you move at yeah. half speed. Yeah. And then okay. You yeah. Dash would be full speed. So yes. it, instead sorry. of doubling. If okay. you wanted to move at full like, speed, it's with disadvantage. You have disadvantage at running. It's like, Cause, sir, the clap of my ass cheeks. Um, <laughs> I got a thirty. A thirty. Okay. What is is anyone else rolling stealth? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, but this is me as I roll into the base. I got a nineteen. Uh, what are you what are you doing? It's a nineteen. Okay. I got a four. No, I'm staying behind. I'm staying back with the shit at the base. Oh wait, is this the rave video? It is the rave video. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Gandalf was, was going fucking, hard. Gandalf's fucking lit, bro. I was delayed. I was <laughs> delayed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um us rolling up. I did not roll well. Angry sand noises. I, Are you I, just gonna? <laughs> so, um, about that. No, that video was actually legitimately me. I Damn. uh, it, yeah, I, I uh, I, I rolled a natural one. <laughs> you <laughs> fall. Yeah, yeah. You know what? You fall and start rolling down the hill. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> You have sand everywhere. Wait, 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 wait. No, please. Not like so this. He's rolling down the hill. Um, are you telling Dragon Company anything while you are doing this? Um I don't have the radio. They are literally Rap. behind you. Oh, hey, if we need you uh for airstrike, you you down? They uh both brimstone accurate look at each other and look at you and give a nod. Cool. <laughs> and they just you do whatever you want to do. We're our wizard's preoccupied, but <laughs> it's just barrel rolling down the hill. They both give a nod, and you see the two of them shoot down the opposite side of the hill before taking flight, and they seem to do like a wide berth to like circle back without being seen. I can teleport like eight of us just there. I oh teleport. shit. Is that what you want to do? Do you want to teleport down there? Your full squad? I mean, 
we want to do that if we if we want to close distance real quick. You got to catch up to the rolling brimstone. <laughs> Um, Blackstone. Okay. Blackstone. <laughs> Sorry. No, I just um run down the hill, not trying to be stealthy. Okay. So a lot of you are running. Um the anything is you... gonna be us being teleporting right on such the mountains because I can see it right now. Yeah. Uh Anthony, did you roll stealth? Uh, no. Do you want to roll stealth? Or are you just skittering will down the hill? When will you wear wigs? When will you wear wigs? Then you wear wigs. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. So most I'm of you are, he gets it. <laughs> yeah, most of you are fairly stealthy. Um, heading down this hill. At a spark company kind of keeping their distance behind you as you guys are uh running you know down the hill you guys get roughly 100 feet from the edge of this compound um before you hear one of the many soldiers running around you hear one just shout out the words uh uh <laughs> <"The Antrudus!" laughs> and at that moment i need everyone to roll me a constitution saving throw oh boy Oh, gee, gee, gee willikers. We're starting quick. Thirteen. Oh, I also found out. Um, so I'm I'm doing some doing some reading on my stuff. Uh, Seventeen. We're, we're in a desert. Uh, that is a favored terrain type. <laughs> okay. So really? Are, so we are gaming. Uh, I can move at a normal pace while still. <laughs> okay. Um. What was that one's roll? 13. 13. Okay. <laughs> okay. 17. Okay. 16. Okay. 14. Okay. Oh, and I got to roll for Quill. Quill passed. <laughs> That's Quill's crazy. the only one who passed. Quill is the only one who passed. Um, all right. The lot of you. Um, why is this button not working? Why is this button not working? This button worked can't three see shit. These buttons worked three days ago. Why is it suddenly not working? I am at the base. And don't you know shit always breaks on the day of? Yeah, it's and it's it's it, well, it worked before I started the session too. So we're just gonna move this. Uh, the lot of you are caught in an explosion. All of you going unconscious. Oh. What kind of explosion? Uh, it came from underneath you. The sand goes up in a ball of fire. Each of you take 21 points of fire damage. Was it oh, magical? Uh, fire damage is fire damage. You, you're you still going to take it. You do not have resistance against regular fire damage. I'm not. I'm not. It was the cause of the explosion magical? Are you trying to use your lycanthropy on this? Because I'm telling you no. I'm trying to roll advantage on the con save. It, it is. It, it is, is not magical. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just checking. I'm making sure I... this is. This isn't you trying to get out of taking yeah. damage. I, I'm not getting out of jail. I understand that. I just... You said 21 damage. Yes, 21 points of damage. Update your tiles, please. Um, I wish I could. Oh no, here I am. Can you do something for me? 21. Whoa, they changed the thing. Holy shit. Um. Oh. Yeah, oh, this I, is different. I know why my thing is broken. Um, the system updated before we got in here. So it broke my damn tile thing that I have. And I don't know why. I was going to say, it doesn't have my eraser background on here. So it's like. Oh, my did HP it? He's scuffed. Did it? Oh, did these? And I'm level yeah. 10. Yeah, the tiles <laughs> are all whack. What the hell? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be yeah. honest. They 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 look kind of sick, though. It does look cool. There we go. That's not the right effect. You guys are. Oh. It's not supposed. To, it's not supposed to give bleeding. Okay, give me a second. Um. Oh, we're bleeding. It that oh, wasn't heavens. what it's supposed to give. I don't know why it changed to bleeding. I guess it reset a bunch of my shit for some bizarre reason. Um, Gee, you guys are curious. supposed to. Is, be it, is there? Is there a map? Or are we update. in the barracks? 
it didn't take you. It didn't bring you over here. <laughs> okay, I, I like because I've been sitting here at the barracks this whole time, and I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm I, I have fixed the thing. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm the only one in the barracks. That's really funny that it said "fuck you." We're not dragging you over. I think it should be dragging you over now. It is. That okay. The lot of you slowly coming to hearing a very panic squawking coming from Quill um, as you all are slowly waking up. Uh, as you all wake up, you find yourselves repelling above a platform. These odd grayish green tendrils wrapped around you. Uh, Antony and uh, Blackstone specifically, you are upside down. Hmm. Oh, um, they're you are hanging. Yeah, they're. Yeah, these tendrils, and you can feel them shifting around you as they are holding you tight. Um, it's ropers, it's ropers, it's ropers, it's ropers. I don't like this. No. <laughs> Is it magical? Uh, no. I'm just going to keep asking. <laughs> <laughs> Did I use shocking grass on the uh, tendril of Logan Man? Sure. Is Roll it a it magical plant? Disadvantage. What is this? Oh, you'll see what it is in a second. Wait, where are we going? So it's a 20 or a 22. Take your pick. Okay. <laughs> um, sure, roll that damage. Uh, 10. 10 damage? And it can't take reactions until it starts its next turn. You hear a loud roar come from the pit uh, in front of all of you before something slowly emerges from said pit. A massive creature uh, with undistinguishable features, um, almost worm-like, and is just made of the this, like, grayish-green, slimy hide with just thousands of tendrils coming off of it. No one has um, face left. Or poorly defended this thing inside. As you all uh, kind of find yourselves looking into what you would assume to be a face of this thing, as there is a large maw that opens up these kind of, uh, f you know how like the demigorgon's mouth opens. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that. Thing. Yeah, it's kind of like that. But then, like behind it, there's like like an actual mouth as well. <laughs> so it's like a sarm. Yeah, 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 something similar to that. Um, and the B, this, this entity, you see its mouth move, but you don't understand what it says initially. And then within all of your heads, um, you all hear in a, like a, a voice with multiple layers to it. Um, that just says, uh, I have been expecting all of you, as the Astral Sea told me you'd be coming here. Oh, I'm coming, all right. <laughs> um, How do I level up my tile? Uh, you double click on it and it whoa the the, the actual statue looks crazy now. What That's what fuck? we were talking about. <laughs> I yeah, haven't bro. opened the statue yet. This actually looks kind of dapper. Damn. What's I'm only level here? ten right now. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I'm on this thing. I don't think these have ever been really updated. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, they they both say new class. They're not even. A I just I we we didn't put any classes in it and stuff like that. We will do more effort in the next campaign to make it easier to use. But for now, this is what we yeah. got. Um, we have tentacle monster. Yes. For now, we have a tentacle monster. It's kind of hot. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't oh, I'm just trying to get a reaction out of you. That's it. Um, All right. It then continues and just says, um, "I wish only to go home, and that is why I need all of you. 
What's in it for me? The ability to leave this place and live on. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I walk to the door. You you're are talking. current. You are. Oh wait, hung I'm up bound, in I'm the bound, air. I'm yeah, bound, you're bound, bound in the bound, air. I'm bound, I'm bound. I yeah. forgot. My bad. <laughs> you you mentioned you're from the astral sea. Is that what it said? Yes. Astral. Who told you we're coming from the astral sea? The astral sea itself. It speaks to me even now. Even though I am separated from it. We free you. Will you and your other kind become allies for us in the future? If needed, of course. You hear almost like a guttural like billow come from this thing. Similar to that of like a gator's. And it just says... I simply wish to be left alone. What's the uh, rough distance between us? All right. Wait, between where? All the people, people being held up. Um, some of you are five feet apart. Some of you, like, you, you can kind of measure it off. You're five feet from Ant, like roughly five feet from Antony. I, w- I, I, I'll trust it. Actually, can I roll a check to see if I trust it? It's sure. I'm gonna trust roll it? insight. Sure, roll me an insight check. Oh, my insight not very high. I got a twelve. You feel that this thing speaks of truth? Oh. I want to use detect thoughts on it. Detect Uh-oh. thoughts. All right. Oh, uh, no. Well, on the base level, upon casting detect thoughts, you hear thousands of voices enter your head. And it feels like your head is splitting. Um, I think interacting with a hive mind was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can trust this creature. It could have killed us already if it really wanted to. Let's be real here. Says the arbiter to grave mind. <laughs> yeah, this is really uh, yeah. I I, I look I look at him as he's grabbing. He was like. And I ask if he can um, unbind my arm so I can grab something out of my backpack. He's gonna shoot you. No, I don't know. My rifle's not in my backpack. Um, there is a slight hesitation, another billow coming from it, before some of the tendrils around your arm loosen just enough to allow you to shift your arms, and that is it. And I, and I, I, I just have my arms. I'm like, okay, okay, look, look. I just I just wanted to show you something. Reach into my bag. I pull out my rope and I cast rope trick. That's okay. it. I just I make it go into the ceiling. I make it float. And I let go of it. And I'm like, dog, look at that. It doesn't <laughs> respond. <laughs> like, can I go now? <laughs> All right. It just, it just it, it's too spoopy. It's spoopy. It, it it pauses after you do this, and all of you all at once are dropped. Uh, Antony and Blackstone roll deck save to not land on your head. Look, I'm just saying, guys. I, think I might be the real wizard here. Uh, 16. Okay, yeah, you managed to catch yourself. You hit hard, but it's not enough to do anything. Antony? I don't. What did you roll? Six. You hear Antony's back crack. Uh, Antony, uh, you take one point of bludgeoning damage from the floor. It's like, what do, what do we think here? We want to try helping a sec or being the help? And it, it I all mean, it does, it, before you can answer, all it does is just say, uh, br- it's, it just says, bring me back my sphere. And it slowly fades 
back into the darkness below. The tendrils on the walls remaining, the ones that have been holding you also retract back to the ceilings and the walls, but it disappears. Oh, oh, I think me. we should discuss it. Outside the room surrounded by the sentient goo. And to, our quill just quickly runs out of the room. <laughs> are, just let me know when there's no tendrils. There, you're, there are tendrils all over the walls still. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, so so hear me out. Why don't we just dump all of our high-level spells into the pit? <laughs> you, so wow. you enter this room. Wait, before you keep moving. You can tell the way this is. Like, the tendrils originally were just moving down that hallway, but then you saw them before they get to the end kind of dig into the walls. And upon entering this chamber, you can see they are coming out back out of the walls, covering a lot of the walls, and then going back in again. Here, let's all move a little closer together. Right now. Bingus. Bingus. Uh, Quill, Bingus. I'm going to actually roll something for Quill. Yeah, Quill's keeping his composure. You can see Quill is like freaking out. Like he is visibly shaking and is like clutching his rifle in his hand. Yeah, but he is. In the middle of the room. We need to reclaim control of the situation. Everybody gather around for a group hug with Quill. I, was gonna oh, say, right. I put, I put, oh, I put right. my arm around Quill and I pretty much be like, yo, us birds, we got to stay as a flock. No owls yeah. hunt. Birds right. of a feather and all that. Yeah, <laughs> you right. know, man. You know, in it. <laughs> he, he gives you a nod and just kind of like lets out a sigh and like tries to straighten himself up. Okay, Still, now everyone's here. Rath, Rath is going to use teleport to get us on top of the battlements outside so we can start taking down the enemies outside oh. the base and we can reestablish control of the situation without being can I, in the can I opt out of teleport? Uh, real quick though, before I before I let you do that. Uh, it's a willing uh, creature, so yeah, you can. Roll uh, me a uh, roll me an arcana check uh, there, Rath. Just an 11. My dice got locked in the corner of the screen. You go to cast the spell. And you see the tendrils on the wall all glow in this. Instead of the grayish color that you normally are, they produce this blue hue. And as you go to weave the magic to do this spell and begin pulling the magic in the way to allow you to teleport, you feel the you watch as this blue energy coming off these tendrils seems to interrupt interrupt the weave of the magic and it dissipates and that's just encouraging she'll pull out the uh, radio and see if she can get any signals out the radio is staticking and that is it okay so well let's can't talk work out here and we have no um, outside line all right Let's let's take a moment. What do we know here? One got dropped down here. Tentacle monster. Yeah, speak wants with our each other. I'm gonna to walk away for one moment. To free it, we can't leave. We can't communicate. So we're kind of stuck with trusting this creature until we can find a way to not. Uh, it well, we has have, to give us a reason. To, we have to assume it knows everything we're saying right now, too. Well, yes, but it also hasn't given us a reason to not trust it. Well, yeah, that's generally uh, how you get people to do something you want them to do. It's not go, ha ha ha, I'm evil. Yeah, but we know it needs this orb, so that could be a bargaining chip. I personally don't Bargain know how we're going to... Bargain mind? I don't know, man. Do it. Do... Yeah, I don't think that's... And so you gain the truth. Uh, what do we know about this base? Um, do we have any idea of the subterranean levels? Of, like any nope. um, information on that? No. Nope. We were given no information on this base. We were told it's most likely a trap and that they're doing experimentations with a creature of unknown origin, possibly multiple creatures. Well, now we know this is origin. most likely this. So. <laughs> So we know there's just a meager topside base, presumably this um, underside base is pretty. <sighs> yeah. You hear Judging Quill. by the tentacles in the wall, 
it's probably not too busy with people. Hopefully, yeah. I don't know. Um, what kind of check would we be able to perform to see whether this thing is plant matter or meat? Um, investigation. It's, not, it's it's not really hard to tell. It's definitely of a fleshy type. Uh, not a plant matter type. Can I roll a history to see if I recall what exactly this thing is and if it has weaknesses? Sure. Uh, anyone proficient in history or arcana can roll me something. I'm not proficient. I am proficient in both. Only a 10. Hiya! You got a 10? I got a yeah. 15. Hold on, let me just, uh, 32. <laughs> God damn! Okay, uh, the rest of I, you... Uh, specifically Arcana. I'm yeah, you did, to, you did not, Arcana. you, you can't recall anything. Uh, DC was very high for this one. This fucking Blackstone over here busting out of the water here. Uh, Blackstone, you have heard of ancient, from, like, ancient, not manifest, what's the word I'm looking for? Manuscripts? Manuscripts. Tomes. Yeah, tomes and manuscripts of uh, uh, odd magical disturbances within the astral uh, the astral sea from wizards that have gone out there and done the exploring and then come back. Um, and the speaking of these weird uh, undescribable eldritch horrors that are out there that simply drift around uh, grabbing at whatever they can find with the tendrils that come off of them um, and begin building these masses around themselves to produce a sort of island um, that floats around the astral sea. Um, you know that, and I will say with that 30, you know that each of them has an orb that allows them to transport themselves between planes. Oh. That on only these creatures have the capability of using. And that these orbs cause madness in lesser creatures. So this is obviously why um, they've been experimenting with this creature. This could also explain how they were able to teleport the bomb so far and so quickly. You're right. This could be... I mean, based on what we saw in the monitor at the base, it definitely seems like they used some kind of magic to... Um, distributes the um, weapon rather than a technological advancement we are unaware of. I will make one more note to you, Blackstone, as they are saying this. The last thing that comes to your mind, the orb uh, could po has been noted if destroyed. The creature could also die, but it is undetermined if that is the case. Oh, are you, is he saying this out loud? Blackstone? One more time. The orb that it has asked you to find that allows it to transport itself and then also the, that causes madness has also theorized that if destroyed, it would kill the creature as well. Oh. But well, that, uh, is, that is only a theory. No one has proven it. We could try breaking the orb we'll 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 know for sure i'd be able to well, put my name on a on a very well written uh article about the situation hmm. might be able to break out into the to the to, to the magical research field you know so given its ability to disrupt my teleportation abilities that might be tied to its ability to um, traverse planes Because when I, I was able to use shocking grasp on it while we were um, captured, which means it's not dispelling all use of magic. Ah, uh, it could be selective too. I, I could always, uh, hmm. thinking she's going to try thunder stepping and down off. You're just going to thunder step? Yeah, to the other end of this hallway. Okay. 
you cast the spell and you feel yourself get shunted forward in a loud bang that echoes through the chamber. Um, essentially yeah. selective appearing on the she, other she side. Saw. Considering we were in a very closed thing, she's almost deafened herself, so she's yelling. All right. Well, we figured that out then. In the name of science, why don't you open that door? Okay. <laughs> what? All right. Upon opening right. the oh, door, wow. um, okay. you see three individuals within the chamber, all dressed in lab coats and everything, with these red tendrils that have uh, is kind of a re- like that have started growing out of their chest and are wrapping around their bodies. Um, a couple of them even have these tendrils coming out of different uh, orifices of their body, some coming out of the ears, the nose, the mouth. Um, one of them appears to not have eyes anymore. Instead, there's just these tendrils that have come out and are wrapped around its head. Um, what color is our buddy again? It is a grayish, uh, like a, like a, uh, like a, gr- what is the color I'm thinking of? Like a grayish green. These ones so are guy. more. These guys have a more red tint to their the tendrils coming out of them. Here, I'm going to use telepathy on the entity and ask it if we're okay to roast these guys. Um, you. Uh, I guess okay. Yeah, you you do this, and as you do this, the best of you that are nearby see as these three things turn in the direction of the doorway and all at the same time let out the same shrill screech um and the creature in response you hear multiple voices um kind of going through your head and as well as images through the spell that you casted and the only you it gives you a headache the amount of just stuff that just gets shoved into your brain um, but you get the idea that these things are thralls of sorts. And that it is the orb that needs to be returned to him causing it. I'm gonna shut the door. Okay. And then um, I think I just want to do some Let's let's go. back up. Uh Anything comes oh. through the door, we kill it. I forgot to add the ambiance. How do I even turn on the ambiance on this foundry tabletop? Um, do you have a vol a volume thing? Um, yeah. Hey, I'm a sir in chat. I'm a fan of Lovecraft horror. Okay, so this is one of those sessions. <laughs> You all do do hear, though, like upon backing away from this door, you hear from the other side of the door kind of these scratchings and like banging on the door. Um, though they do not seem to open the door. Okay, based on what I was able to get before my the um, it sounds like um, this, these are unintended side effects of this creature being separated. Yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> uh, God, why, you, you might be ambushed, you didn't say anything about an eldritch being, thanks, Tal, fucking useless, alright, let's recoup, uh, Quill in, his, in Tal's voice is just going to say, uh, uh, uh bioweapon, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. More like astral weapon. Oh, right, that's it. You like, two gonna like be the greeting party? Or are you coming in here? We're we're closing this door. Apologies, I was having trouble. All right, cool. Fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> just, just hope would say that too. Just say, hey, dickheads. <laughs> fucking. Fucking bitch. 
GTA. How's the elimination down here? Oh man, I was gonna say we should stealth before rolling up. Lol, yeah. you're funny. Roll right in, baby. <laughs> Woo! All right, we ball. You yeah, enter a, a kind of trashed up lab. Um, you see multiple vials on the table are broken. Um, some of them look to contain uh, samples of the creature. These, uh, what, the few containers that are still remaining have like, what's the what is the chemical I'm thinking of? Um, it's used to preserve stuff, like animal like carcasses and stuff. Hide. Formaldehyde, yeah, looks like a like formaldehyde with like a tendril floating inside of it. Um, I would. Is glowing. that glowing? It is a candlelight. <laughs> Like a lantern light. Uh, I, I would like to search the area with my investigation roll and search for A, what they may have been testing for, and B, if there's anything magically valuable to me. I will also roll an investigation to see what they have on the creature and if there's any bullshit going on. I kind of want to investigate this little pit right here. Okay. I want to know what it is. Each oh, I of got you got a four. I just got a nat so I'm gonna investigate. Damn. Okay. Twenty four, mm -hmm. not twenty. I got an eighteen. Eighteen. So I I I I rolled really high. How high? Those are those are those are forty sound good to you. <laughs> Jesus oh Christ. My God. Jesus Christ. It's really on the canopy. Okay, um, we'll go oh, through people sorry, in order. Not... Save, save between all of those. Yeah. Uh, so, you looking around, looking for documentation and stuff or anything, you do find over here on this little bench with your dark vision, you can see there is a num there is two or three notebooks that are here that have scribblings in them. Um, are you going to flip through the notebooks? I'm going to flip through it and I'll pocket them, yeah. Yeah, flipping through the notebooks. The first one has several data entries listed off, like, entry one, such and such, and they give a date. Um, kind of rapidly going through it, you get the idea of, like, they found the creature, they were doing tests, they were learning things, stuff was going well. The first book, you pocket, go through the second book, odd things start happening, and then by the third book, you're going through probably about midway through this notebook, and it starts getting more and more uh what's the word I'm looking for uh insane uh yeah it, it gets more and more uh delirious illegi delirious illegible uh -oh. like some of the words don't make sense there's symbols like scratched into some of the pages um oh so soap's new uh expertise yes and you by the end of it um, you just see written just hundreds and hundreds of times words crossing over each other for like the remaining pages just saying uh, the orb is the key the orb is the key the orb is the key and it just keeps going and going and going I'm just gonna shout out to the others and be like hey whoever was in here went insane just talking about the orb is the key keep that in mind uh, that's consistent with what we know Raw, looking into that pit, um, you get a very foul stench come from it. Mm -hmm. And you notice there is a padlock on the edge of this pit, uh, kind of glancing down into this pit itself and looking inside, you see what looks to be a mass grave. There's multiple bodies down there and you can see there are tendrils that have started wrapping around these bodies and look to be sucking nutrients and things from the bodies. A lot of them look to be withered away and brought down to nothing more than skin and bone. There are okay. others that Ooh, seem to still be fuckers. worked at, essentially. Okay. Well, now we know it's carnivorous, for sure. Um, Wrath? What are you looking for in particular? Well, I've looked at the pits, the books. What's on this cool pedestal? So looking at that table, it looks to be a... Uh, uh, you can see there are multiple pieces. There's there's blood on this table. You can see there's like splots of blood. It doesn't look normal, though. It's not your normal 
red blood. It is a odd grayish color, but almost seems to shift between different shades of gray as it is sitting there, even when dry. Um, well, we know it all, bleeds. You can also see on the table there are bits of the flesh from these tendrils that seems to have been cut away, as well as a number of broken uh, cutting utensils. Um, so basic, it looks like these cutting utensils broke because um, the flesh's creature was too strong to break through with standard means. Yes. Here. Essentially, yeah, the flesh like... seemed to be a little stronger than some of these blades could take. Well, um, rotted away is this flesh, the intact stuff on the table. Um, some of it looks to be, you would guess from the cuts, they're, they're relative, they're a few days old, but they, they seem wow. to, they seem to be pulling from the blood that has been splotted on this table. You see all of these tendrils are touching the blood pits and seem to show some sort of life to them still. I want to try something. Okay. Uh, can somebody hand me a blade? What? Um, I'll toss a dagger. I'll try to catch it with my minus one dexterity. <laughs> sure. Stick in your yeah, sure. She, yeah, roll a dexterity saving throw to try to catch it. Nine. Um, You fumble the dagger and it hits the ground. It doesn't cut you, but you fumble it. Well, she doesn't care about looking cool. And what she's going to do is she's going to gently poke up the blade to see if, like, the, um, like the, if it's still connected to the uh, whole creature to see if it will, like, the um, entity will react if we attack it. You so she's going it. to, like, yeah. Yeah, you, you poke at it, and it kind of weakly kind of writhes a little bit. And you can see some of the tendrils on the wall also shift ever so slightly. Okay, she'll withdraw the blade and uh, return it to its owner. It looks like even when these tendrils are cut from the main entity, they remain um, mentally connected to it. That's mildly terrifying. Now, Blackstone, your role. What are you looking into particularly? Well, I'm mainly looking around to see if they uh, happen to gather any information or even left any details as to where they may have left the orb, um, as well as things, important details about the monster, and if there's anything in the room that may be magically of value to me. Okay. Um, looking around the room, it, this room's not all that interesting beyond the notebook that soap found and the tendrils that i guess there's a few interesting things they're not of super value just kind of gives an idea of what's going on um looking around though you don't see anything in particular that looks salvageable um you do notice there is a chest right here an old wooden chest very large wooden chest uh, upon opening it, uh, you do find within it a scientist who looks to have, uh, by your guess, with your investigation, and being an investigator yourself, uh, he appeared to have gouged his own eyes out and then suffocated within the box. Um, so, so exactly what's happening, right? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just like. Hey guys, I found a chihuahua! <laughs> I like would crack it open just enough to see the body and, and then just like slam the, 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 the lid and back up like, whoa! I, Soap would come <laughs> over to, to Blackstone to hold out the journal and be like, yeah, I mean, fucking makes sense. This our scientist? And I'm gonna drag the body out. I, I, I'm, I'm like back it up. <laughs> Anyone I, have uh, speak with dead? Speak with dead? No. No. I don't have. <laughs> Why do I feel like Anthony has it? Uh, 
silent. Has he remained no. <laughs> just utterly silent? No, he does not. Alright. Oh, wait! I'll cast Speak with Death. Soap's gonna put his hand uh, in the dude's jaw and start moving it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not actual Speak with Dead, it's just like. It's just just playing really like fucked with up. Dead. Yeah, it's really fucked up. Raph's still over the table, and, and she thinks she actually has to speak with dead. So, um, ask him how he died. Oh, wait, can I roll performance? Deception check! Dece or performance! Deception. Performance or deception? Oh, wait, no, I'm gonna roll deception. I either install a negative modifier, I don't give a shit. I got a 12. Okay, what's that against? A <laughs> 9. Say. Insight. Well, I'm, I'm, act I'm actively not looking, so I think I will... That would be your passive insight, then. What is your passive insight? 11. Wait, no. A passive oh, insight's 15. A oh, passive insight's God. what? 15. I was, uh, oh, fuck, dude. I got, I got excited. You were like, I, I no think fucking since way. I, <laughs> since I'm actively not looking, I, as a player, I'm going to let rule of advantage. Roll again, because it's funny. I could, I'm gonna let you roll with advantage. I like that. Note. It doesn't matter. I got a 13. Oops. I have shit rolls. Oh, wow. I completely disappear from the room. Like, what is happening? I hide in the corner and I completely disappear. Well, gonna, you still I'm got gonna, RP. You still got to yeah, say just... something to yes, make it fail. It? I, I said, ask him how he died. <laughs> so it's just gonna like spin the head around <laughs> and be like you see I got seduced by the tentacles <laughs> they spoke to me of power <laughs> Quill is like holding his nose cause like the stench of this body is like horrific uh, yeah like, fair enough like, where did you learn to speak with Ted the Bart's College and Grand Hall no, my master. This is a joke you would play on us when I was a child. <laughs> She'll kind of laugh. Um, and, um, because, you know, obviously the, the jig is up, but she'll grab one of the disconnected the tentacles and take it with her from the uh, table. All right. Okay. To the next room. Door appears open to be the door, And I guarantee you we're about to get jumped. I cast. What is it? What is this door made out of? Uh, it is reinforced wood. I cast pick lock. <laughs> yeah. Well, which kind are you going to select? Is it a uh, combination lock? Is it a... I don't know. We'll check. We'll I'll check on the lock. Well, I with right. thieves tools. What does that do? Do you have proficiency? I do have proficient. I have a. Th I'm a rogue. What kind of silly little goofy man? Little 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 silly man. Oh. Wait, is, huh? Wait. Oh, it's Dex. Is this Dex? Is this a Dex roll? Yeah, this is a Dex roll. Yes. I'm just gonna roll sleight of hand, and then I'll add down the proficiency. It'll it'll be the equivalent of your sleight of hand because actually no. You have proficiency oh, sleight of hand, so it's, sleight of hand. you have a plus 10, then. Yep, so I got a 23. You fiddle with the lock for a moment. You hear a, you know, <laughs> doors unlocked. All right, we're free. God damn it. So underwhelming. <laughs> I should have checked the body for a card <laughs> or a keys. Right. investigation does he have anything of value on him oh no uh no <laughs> damn i walk we away have, uh we have, we have two mommy issues up ahead um you open the door you see the two entities that are they're just they're just standing there they're kind of standing there kind of swaying back and forth their hands kind of in front of them kind of as if they're holding something, occasionally like twitching. 
and they're just waving back and forth, their heads kind of looking straight up at the ceiling as they do it, mouths wide open. They don't seem to to notice you. Can I use Mage Hand? Can I use Mage Hand to uh, scoot the uh, little tendril across the floor and see how it reacts? Sure, you can can Mage Hand it at a distance. Let's see here. Let's check the distance. You can do it 30 feet, so it's around that distance if you'd like to. Yeah, I, I want to scoot it over to do, 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 this one over. To the other one. Uh, so this one you, did you roll stealth? I got a 30 on stealth. Oh, then yeah. Okay, yeah, you can do that. You can. So you, you push the tendril over there um, or just kind of make it float in the air. Um, yeah, I just want to see kind of how it reacts to the red tendril. Because we know this one's still connected to the creature's uh, hive mind. You see, as you bring this tendril towards the entity, there are little, smaller, little, tiny, uh, like, tendrils that come out of the one you're holding that seem to reach out to this entity. And you can see one or two. Yeah, you see one or two of its tendrils do the same as it reaches out towards it. It hasn't noticed you, but the tendrils seem to respond to each other. Okay, so seeing that, I'll withdraw it back into the antechamber I'm standing at. Okay. Am I still deaf and blinded? And, uh, whatever. Why would you be uh, deaf and blinded and stuff? Oh, We're in here. oh man. That's what it has on me. It shouldn't. I think you're seeing things because it didn't happen a second ago. Yeah, I'll you like just put them on there. Okay, cool. Uh... Can I silent take down this one? Um, sure, if you would like to. Roll me the the stealth versus perception. Oh, I feel like the tendrils are gonna tickle me. I don't like what you're insinuating, boy. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Let me do one thing real quick. Where did this stat block go? I had it a minute ago. Where did it vanish to? It's uh, the next page. Okay. Um, perception. Yeah. Okay. You pass it. Roll your attack roll. La la la. La la la. Here's its stat block. There we go. 18. Okay. Let me look at the rules for silent takedown because this is a first case. Um, It had a higher deck save than you had an attack. Uh, That's crazy. You do normal weapon damage, but it now knows you're here. (laughs) Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. This is why I don't use D&D Beyond. That's a nine. I have initiated combat. You have. Oh, wait. I do sneak attack, though. (laughs) I'm just going to... We're not going to make you guys roll for initiative anymore. I'm just going to use the program to do it because it makes it easier. I'll stick... Two I points okay. of slashing. So it takes 11 points of slashing. 11 points of slashing? Yep. Okay. And it now starts initiative. So the creature immediately turns towards you. Um, both of them actually turn in your direction and look straight at you, and they both let out a blood curdling scream. Uh,. Oh, would and it not be surprised? No, you you that was your surprise round. You got your surprise oh, round. Okay. It's now its turn. Um and it is going to punch you in the face. Twice. What's your AC? Seventeen. It's gonna hit the first and miss the second. And you are going to take two points of bludgeoning damage. And uh, where's my D8s? There they are. Uh, 8, 14. 
19, 22 points of psychic damage. Jesus Christ. Um, and it's the end of its turn. Antony! It's now your turn. Boop. Bottom of my hell. I wonder if I have. Bug is so quiet. <laughs> scares me. Jared is the one player that I do fear as a DM. <laughs> because I never know what he's going to do next. I cast Fireball. <laughs> At what level? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Don't throw darts at that one. Okay. Uh, roll those attacks. How do we view the initiative order on Foundry? Um, uh, right next to the chat, there's a combat encounters. Thank you. Uh, dirty 20, 23, 29. Those all hit? Poggers. Mm -hmm. Not poggers. What the fuck? I'm killing myself. Goodbye. Please don't. And what'd you roll? <laughs> Three damage. <laughs> in Three ones. Wait, in total? <laughs> Three ones. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> this creature screeches at you as you do this. It's now turned its head towards you. Uh, no! no! <laughs> He's dead! <laughs> He's just gonna have all of the status effects. Um, Soap, it is now your turn. I attack this little man in front of me. Okay. Yeehaw. Wow, I'm rolling like shit. Dirty 20 and 29. Those both hit? What do you mean you're rolling like shit? All right, uh, 18 damage plus, gotta roll this now. Uh, plus four, and then it's bleeding. So it's gonna take another two. So, um, 22, uh, 24, 24 damage. And then, okay, that's my bonus action. Um, taking evasive stance. That's it. Oh, wait. I also got movement. Evasive stance, uh, not back it, up. Oh, you have evasive stance? Okay. Yep. Wait. Evasive stance doesn't... I have is mobility as a, f a feat. That's though. right. That's right. Mobility removes attack of opportunity. Oh. Uh, I back up. I back up to, like, here. Oh, I forgot about something. That'll activate next round. It's fine. Um, Pause. I forgot to do something, but it's fine. Is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Cyclops, it is now your turn. Well, I'm assuming I'm in darkness. You can see where I'm. Yeah, you are. Okay. Cool. So this is right. Uh, so because I'm not visible in darkness, as an mm -hmm. umbral, umbral sight, um, would I do a surprise attack if I was to shoot them because they don't see me? It is with advantage because they don't see you. Or, yeah, my bad. Okay. I and, did uh, also forget uh, to mention which soap. It really didn't matter for you, but uh, all attacks against these creatures are with disadvantage. Oh. 
I forgot to mention that. Wait, with disadvantage? Every single attack is with disadvantage. Um, so with advantage, it's a straight roll. I apologize for not saying that sooner. I just remembered. Looking so at the step I just one. do a, a straight roll? Roll a straight roll. Okay. Uh, so we're going to... Um, it's going to be that one. Yep. And the... And, you uh, see, so it's two shots anyway. Ooh, that's a that's a one. Um, that's tough. Uh, did I put misfire on your gun? <laughs> <laughs> and that's a seven. <laughs> you do not have misfire. You are lucky. Let's go. I'm cracked. <laughs> so, uh, and a, and uh, a seven. Yeah, yeah. Cause I yeah, both shots miss. The yeah. first shot. Well, you no, just no, kinda... I know the fir first one. I rolled a one and the second one. I rolled a seven plus twelve, which is nineteen. Ah, that does hit. Yes, it does. I apologize yeah. for does the one still hit at thirteen. No, <laughs> just even if, an AC, even if it's an AC, even if an AC at ten, I'd still tell you no. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. Um... So we're going to roll for damage. So that's a 15, but um, because I know how to read now um, and I'm learning more about this game because I'm bad. Uh, where is it? Uh, 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 with Dread Ambusher, uh, since it's the first turn in this combat, I deal an extra 1d8 damage of the weapon type on hit. All right. So, so let's roll another d8. Eh, eh, eh. So it was, oh, where'd all my rolls go? It was 15 plus six. So that would be 21. 21 points of piercing damage. Yes, sir. All right. Um, so yeah, the first shot you fire, you watch as one of the tendrils seems to almost like whack at it. And you can see where the bullet hits on a wall behind it. Mm -hmm. um, the second one, tendril's not fast enough. And it goes right through piercing its shoulder as it kind of stumbles slightly. It's now Wrath's turn. Remember, boys, that when it is your turn, the stream sees what you see. So however you're zoomed in is how the stream sees it. Um, but it's Wrath's turn. Hmm. wondering how I want to cut this now. Because like you said, it's uh yep. well, yeah, I know how I'd hit this. You want to hit them with something where you're not where um you're not rolling um to hit. Where instead they probably rolling instead of save. Right? That is a strategy, yes. What's the um, distance? Uh, between them? 35 feet, yeah. 35 feet. Okay, let's see. To Storm Sphere, I don't have enough diameter. Um, Okay, I'm gonna use chain lightning. Um, so they have to pet uh, deck seventeen save. Deck seventeen. Deck seven. Yeah, I mean it, it will hit regardless, but uh, it will just like depend show how much damage. One saves, one does not. Uh, so one's gonna take fifty six damage, and one's going to take um, half of that. Okay. 28. Cool. Yeah, I rolled it at the sixth level. Okay. You send this arc of lightning towards the first one. You watch as all of the tendrils seem to almost shoot out on end. Almost like hair would when you electrocuted. And as they are doing that, it shoot arcs over to the next one. Um, his, his body seems to take it a bit 
better than the other one, seeming to arch forward slightly as this happens. Um, and recovering. It's now Quill's turn. Quill is going to move to here. And Quill is going to fire three shots at this boy right here. Let's get his. So, let's grab three dice. Miss, and then two hits. So his first shot's going to miss. His next two shots will hit instead. Uh, Quill will do nine plus. 16 points of piercing damage. And that is the end of Quill's turn. It is now the Astral Drone's turn. Uh, it is going to look towards uh, you, Wrath. And I need you, as you, want, as you look into its eyes, roll me a intelligent saving throw. Seventeen. Seventeen? Yeah. Uh, you feel the voices in your head starting to rev up again. You manage to push them out. Um, and as this happens, it seems to tilt its head to one side slightly. And then you watch as it snaps his head over to soap and it is going to yeah it is going to blink or teleport right behind soap and punch soap in the back no you <laughs> nothing personnel kid uh, it will hit you soap AC of 22 oh, it's it, that that still is a hit I rolled very high uh, four points of bludgeoning. No, six points of bludgeoning. 10, 15, 19 points of psychic. Um, so if you want to mark that. Yeah, I am. I'm doing math. I got 76 health. Um, I'm almost at the threshold for party time. What would be a wisdom saving throw? Steamy saving throw. Fuck. Oh! Oh! 18. Okay. You feel a nagging in the back of your head, but there's nothing beyond that. I love you. Don't, don't <laughs> kill me yet. <laughs> Please, I don't want to die. <laughs> uh, Blackstone. <laughs> It's now your turn. It would be quirky, but like. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, pretty quirky. All right, I'm gonna round to this corner, right? Yeah. I'm gonna see these two boys. I'm gonna be like, haha, magic missile. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so one way to cast a man, just turn the corner. Haha, <laughs> magic missile. You fucking bitch. Uh, I'm gonna cast it at a second level so I can get four and split it evenly between the two. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Of course, of course. <laughs> so one takes fucking nine damage. <laughs> God, that is a good magic missile. <laughs> Damn, no, I, bro, I, I, I'm not joking you. I rolled two four. <laughs> that, that's pretty good damage. All right, and the other one? Uh, four, five, six, seven. Seven points of... All right. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, no. I'm going to step a little closer and fucking quick draw this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roll the attack. That's a 17. That hits. Uh, yeah. No, that's a, just a fly 17. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Roll, roll, roll uh, the damage. Uh, 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 see, I have to put my dice back into the highest number at all times, or else they don't like me anymore. 
Understandable. That's how I, that's how I uh, kept the luck with them for so long. Um... Mm. Words one, seven, uh, plus ten because it's a one shot revolver. So I, I get my spell attack DC on it or whatever. It's, it's your dex. Bonus. Okay, so so I don't I don't I don't get it because it's a special magic revolver. Okay. No, um, it is it is like shooting a regular revolver when you shoot the actual ammunition. At it. <laughs> then seven damage. Minus seven. Not that button. It'll make a loud noise. There we go. Okay. Uh, end of your turn. Unfortunately. The other entity on the other side of the room, you see it starting to violently shake. And as it does, you can see the the red splotch on its chest where the, the tendrils are coming out of start to glow brighter and brighter. And... Uh, it is going to, from it, you hear a loud screech as a yellow beam shoots from the, its chest. Um, Blackstone, what's your AC? Um. Uh, uh, uh. It, it's, it's a, uh. Is it 12? No, no, no. It's a 5, 6, 17 when I uh, cast shield. You cast shield. You block one of these. <laughs> so the first one comes. You manage to throw your shield up. The second one strikes you. Um, you hear a mind-piercing screech within your skull like that of a thousand people just screaming in your head. Um, and you take 8, 14, 16, 18... 21 points of psychic damage. Nope, sorry. 24 points of psychic damage. Um, as this happens to you, feel blood start trickling from your nose. Uh, as your head feels like it's splitting. Um, and then it is going to... You watch as you look away from it for a moment and then look back. It is just going to teleport and appear uh, right here. <laughs> Uh, it is now Antony's turn. Perfect. Now I don't have to move. <laughs> you dare approach me? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> said every attack has a disadvantage. Yes, sir. Range. How do I leave? I'm quitting. How do I leave the campaign? Or just, like, leave this area? All of it. <laughs> All of it? <laughs> I want nothing to do with this. <laughs> Would you roll, Jared? Out of 12. Yeah, your attack does not hit. The tendrils block. What, what were you doing? Burn. Burn. The. What? You rolled two rolls, right? What was what was the other one? Or was 12 the, the highest? 13. 13 and 2. Well, or are they 13 and 2? No, yeah, it's 23 it, and 2. 23 12. and 2? 23 and 12. 23 and 12. Because it is fire, I will let it hit. Yippee. <laughs> Yippee! And there's a reason for it. You don't even have to roll damage for this, because I already know you do more than three damage. Um, yeah. Is this like, what, what does this spell look like? Like, how are you casting it's the, it? It's the catch flame. Catch flame. So you just kind of raise a hand and just, they burst into flames? Yeah. Okay. You all watch as Antony kind of makes like a fist, uh, 
immediately this creature erupts into flames. The tendrils on it uh, begin burning rapidly as it produces this loud screech. The other one on the other side of the room also screeching with it as it uh, writhes in pain, uh, slowly collapsing to the ground. It is now dead. The body is burnt beyond recognition. And all of the tendrils on the body seem to turn into a sort of uh, like it turns into dust and kind of floats off, like breaks up and floats off. Uh, is that the end of your turn, Antony? Uh, so 19 hit points. Damn. I love you. <laughs> so the tentacles appear to be inert. No, that's it, is, it is now Soap's turn. It takes four points of bleed. I don't even have to do anything, but they attack. The one that died is the one that had bleed on it. Stinky bleed. Oh. All right. The other one. Oh, wait. I forgot. It's disadvantage. All right. Hold up. We'll do that, and then we'll do this. Yeah. 22. That hits. Well, damage. Uh, seven. Seven. All right. How do you want to do this? I just cut its head off. All right. You remove its head. It's like all of the tendrils on the body start shaking and it screeches out loud. You can hear screeches from other parts of the facility as this happens. Uh, and as its its body hits the ground and its head follows it, there's a brief moment you see the, the tendrils on the head reach out and try to shift itself back to the body before they go still. Um, scared. Uh, and that technically ends your combat. I'd like to try a science experiment. That's okay. Go ahead, bro. I will take the uh, captured tendril I took from the previous room, and I want to use Mage Hand to bring it near one of the uh, dead um, bodies to see if there's any reaction now that we've downed those. Okay. Um, I will make a note. The one on the... Actually, I'll just... I'll add a filter so that you can tell. Uh... The one on the right, though, is uh, completely burned. Um, this one. So I guess the decapitated one, then. Yes. Although I guess I would like to... I would also be interested to see if, like, this thing would be interested in the incinerated one. Basically, I want to see if it tries joining with them again. Though these red ones have been seemingly killed. Yeah. What is the stream focusing on? What the heck? The program is focusing on nothing, and I don't know what it's focusing on. That's so weird. Huh. Neat. All right. Um, you bring it closer to the decapitated one, and it, uh, you see the tendrils reach out weakly to one another, as they had done before. Not The ones on the body don't seem to move as much. Um, as they were before, but they do seem to reach out. Um, bringing it to the burnt body, uh, there is no reaction. There does not seem to be tendrils even present on this body anymore. Okay. So then I'll take the observation. I'll say it looks like incineration downs these things permanently. The one you decapitated is still alive and connected to the hive mind, if only weakly. Oh. Okay. Shit, that's all you had to say. I'm gonna pull out a match and uh, set it on fire. <laughs> oh my god, he's pulling an evil within. I love all the science trying to figure out this thing. Do you want? Oh wait, before I burn it, do you want to do more science on this creature? Or, like, uh, I'm killing it. There's three others in the other room. Yeah, not exactly. Uh... <laughs> wanting to go up and personal with these red ones. So, uh, do your thing. 
Alright, yeah, I torch its body. Uh, I'm gonna bring it over to the corner first, but yeah. Okay, so you, yeah, you drag its body over here. The tendrils, like, a few times kind of, like, reach and kind of, like, start wrapping themselves for a moment before you kind of pull your hand away and they let go. They seem too weak to actually get a grip on you. I'm also gonna take a healing potion. I'll put it in. I'm taking a full turn, but we're not in combat, so yeah. no. So looking looking around this room as well, you can see there are files on these shelves. Uh, a lot of them seem to have been destroyed by tendrils that have come out of the ground and have wrapped up and like grabbed a hold of them and started like causing them to decay. Um, however, there are a few that look to be salvageable, that look to be files involving the experimentation of the orb and the creature itself. I'd say we should probably store anything that seems of value. Um, I'm going to secure this other doorway. That's fine with everyone. Quill's doing his thing. Yeah, Quill's looking know. through books right now. Hmm. I'm, I'm just going to post up the fucking door and wait here. Alright. Um breaching. Nothing. Oh uh, you see another long hallway. I'm gonna stealth before opening the next door. Alright, you get to the Whoever's end of the with me should probably also stealth. Yeah, roll roll stealth blackstone. I have a thirty four. Lol stealth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Quill got an 18. Two. two. Wait, open yeah, it's two. Blackstone uh, is uh, clip clopping down the hallway. His boots are just. I was delayed. Choo, 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 choo. <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah, he's spinning his orbs again. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna be look at Blackstone and be like, I love you. Maybe, maybe stand back a little bit. I'm literally as far down the hallway as I can go. As I, <laughs> I say, as I back my, back up against the door. You know I what? Fine. I'll be on the other side. I want to see if I can around the corner and like oh, aim my gun down the hallway. I want to see if I can do something to Blackstone's oh. tile real quick. I'm really well, curious here. Pull it up. Oh, um, it's dark. You know what that means? Why does he keep disappearing? What the fuck is this? It's dark. Uh, I have umbral sight. You gain dark <laughs> vision. It, but while in darkness, you are invisible to any creature that rely on dark vision. That's <laughs> you in darkness. <laughs> Damn. So, as long as I'm in darkness, you can't see me. <laughs> now you can still smell me. Uh, mommy. S sniff, sniff. I smell him. He is near. <laughs> I see three rats up ahead. I see three PO. Shut up. Um. All right. I have a question. Yes. What's your question? All right. Actually, before asking this possibly stupid question, those those symbols and shit are these lights? Are these? Are they tables, uh, chandeliers, or something? These, they are what look to be these large, uh, liquid pods. Um, they seem to be containing a black viscous liquid within them. Um, you can see that the, the insides of the pods seem to have been compromised as well as tendrils have crawled up the side of the glass and some have actually penetrated through. Uh, and you can see the, whatever this black liquid is, is being pumped through the tendrils uh, out of these tanks. I have a question then. The the yeah. the true question. In a, a throw, if I were to chuck them, how many grenades would I be able to throw with two attacks? Two. That's it. Yeah. All right. Cool. That's all I needed to know. Um. Nah, nah, nah. 
là 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 There's one And there's two All right I need a DC 15 dex 30 saving throw Dex 30 just what the fuck I wish bro no 15 oh it's okay like, are you getting 30 yeah I, I, I thought I heard him say 30 I was like what the fuck um okay so that is this one passes oh I'm on the wrong thing this one passes it's a roll two so there's two of them they yeah this one this one minutes. fails this one is out of that one radius so he's not affected um I no, he's in that radius. See, I'm trying to move him. See, I'm trying to see the difference. Over, in these. over, over half of his oh. body's in there. Yeah, okay, there it is. He's in yeah, there. Okay. Um, he he also so passes. The f so first grenade rolled the thing for the first grenade. Yeah, it was eighteen for the first one. Eighteen. Wait, that's wrong. I oh, sorry, oh. I did something wrong here. Um, make a throw. Also, roll the right die. And then I'll roll I for the second that. one. That was twenty-two damage for the second. Twenty-two. In addition to that, because you threw these grenades. Um, I need the two of you that are, uh, right there in the doorway to roll me a deck safe. You blew up the fucking things. Uh. Oh. Oh, fuck. You said a deck save? <laughs> yeah, deck saving throw. All right. What the hell did you guys do? Um. I don't know. 17. Am I okay? <laughs> 17. <laughs> oh, let's, uh, uh, 16. A 32. 32? Okay. Uh, what is your dexterity? Uh, plus 13. What did you get, wow. Raw? What did you get again? 17. 17. Okay. Punch plus 10. 16. I, I have a plus, uh, I have an additional three from um, Six, my, my class you take raw because you passed or because both of you passed you take third let's see it was 35 so that's 15 17 points of fire damage as the uh, entire room burst into flames and both of you also while doing this are pushed back 15 feet oh cool um you watch inside the room as fire engulfs the entire space. Um, you hear shrieks from the entire facility um, as this happens, and the walls actually begin to shake. If, on, <laughs> for, if, if only for a moment. Oh, man, I fucked up. And once the fire stops and has dissipated, um... You see a very burnt chamber with three broken pods. There are no tendrils around this space anymore, though. What right, a shout out. Uh, room's cleared. I'm going to shoot up another stim as well. Oh, um, what in the hells did you do? Um, I cast Fireball. Oh. Well. See, oh, I guess. Quill kind of walk over to one of the bodies and kind of like poke it with the butt of his rifle. It like doesn't move, and he kind of you see him like like have a sh chill go down his spine for a moment. He just kind of he makes his way over here. He reduces these things to protoplasm. And and we remove the tendrils on the walls as well. So well, fire not, is this thing's weakness. Not on this wall on this side. No, not just on the this main wall, floor, this though. Yeah, just yeah, the main floor and whatever that blast radius was. Yeah. 
Does so the, uh, we've removed does, the tendrils. Does the Good tendril I have react, react to this like puddle at all? No. Well, that confirms uh, that what you did is rendered whatever these material, whatever they're made of, completely inert. So before I blew it up, it should be noted that the tendrils were seeming to like feed off of what it was ever in these tanks. However, whatever was in these tanks was also flammable. So it's it's like it's like living off of ethanol, but also being a vampire. Yeah. And dying a really bad vampire. They're accepting of the fent. But too who much isn't? fent messes them up. Who who isn't, okay? Like come on. Alright. Uh, question. Nothing ethanol. survived in this room, I'm assuming, correct? All these None. barrels and everything are gone. Um everything is either burning or it's just like yeah uh, like there's nothing of value in here yeah okay that's fine uh, out of all the rooms to do it too it's probably the best one all um, right we open the doors <laughs> on three yeah, uh, stealth stealth before uh gentlemen. well you can't open a door when stealth huh I'll take you straight out of stealth can't you it peek? did it... oh it does yeah, it does. Play right, well, fuck it. Boop. Oh, no. That's a long hallway. I'm closing the door. We have company coming through. I'm readying two grenades again. <laughs> you hear growling on the other side of the door and screeches coming from the other side of, the, of this door specifically. And you can well, you hear like a scratching and like a banging. Wait, it's scratching and banging, which means they're right at the door. There's like two or three I, of them on the other side. I would of the like door. to just shoot my rifle twice straight at the door. It's just they reinforced are. wood, correct? Yes, but it is a lower chance of hitting. <laughs> like they they do have cover, so their AC is increased. Well, I mean, yeah, but it's gonna shoot through the door. I mean, if you want to try, can, we can try. I'm assuming that the explosion drew the attention of the rest of them, correct? Um. The fact the whole facility sounded like it was screaming, it's a possibility. We uh, mean, Tyler, Tyler, don't, don't lie to me. All right, my two shots, uh, a dirty 20 and an 18. A dirty 20 and an 18. You don't know if you hit. You still uh, hear the scratching and the, 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 like the banging on the door. You don't know if you I don't know how we want to proceed with this. I have dynamite. Uh, I can cast a difficult terrain spell in that area uh, by the door. They'll get hit by it and they'll have to uh, traverse difficult terrain to get to us. They have blink. That is true. We I need to we need that. to kill them in a single shot. I, I don't know. I might just, you know what? I hey hey, Ra, take take two of these. Um, I'm handing you two grenades. If you grab, all right. You hear me? Yo, Quill's moving. What's he? What's the boy oh, doing? Quill is just hanging out in this doorway. He wants nothing. He saw those two. And he's I'm staying getting over grenades. There. Yeah, I hand you two grenades, and I go, "We're gonna get someone to open that door, and we lob these through." Mage hand. Mage hand. hand. Mage hand. I can mage hand it. I'll do it right mage now. Mage hand. Okay. Uh, how do I it's throw been, grenades? It's been mage hand. Do it. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm cooking it prior to the mage hand, and as soon as it's open, one of them is going right here, and I will circle. First one lands directly in front of the door. Uh, and yeah, the I... second one, as soon as the mage hand is open, uh -huh. it's going right there. Uh, I don't know how to throw grenades. You, you just... Just let some. You just do it. chuck it. <laughs> yeah. All right, here. Where do you want to hit? It? Just, just ping it, and I'll draw a circle. Pingus, there and through the door. There we go, and Bro. another one. Oh Jesus Christ, that one's too big. All right, cool. 
Uh, we need four DC 15 dexterity saving throws. I'm gonna just start rolling the damage now, and you just let me know. Jeez, roll the first one first, and then I'll do the markings. All right. All right. So damage. I'm all. I'm just gonna list off the four damages, and then they either take half or full. First one is an 18. Second okay. one is a 25. Okay. Uh, third one is a 16. And okay. the fourth one is a 22. Okay. So now I just gotta do the fucking math here. Just gonna... Yeah, Are you just... multiplying 18 times 2 and getting 32? I'm not telling you what I'm doing. Cause you did that earlier. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. He That's works not... in mysterious ways. I do work in mysterious ways. It's kind of crazy how I work. Anyways, I got also uh, four sticks of dynamite left over. I have three more grenades. Uh, four more I'm grenades. Just, I'm just sitting I... here rolling dice and marking numbers. <laughs> That's what my life is right now. And rolling uh, why, why, what do the numbers mean? What do they mean? And then once you're done, I can delete all of the uh, bullshit boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting there. Oh. And then the last one. Dear fucking God. 44 damage. <laughs> Just in... All right. Um, now you delete those boxes. Yep. Yeah, both bodies right, cool. just collapse to the ground. You see the alarms blaring in this chamber, just the loud, just ringing, the lights flashing down in this bottom chamber. Um, all right. All right, well, I'm going to go into this hallway with the boy, and uh, I'm going I'm to watch the, the, the hallway. Bottom chamber's clear, however, that doorway down there leads to the three man room so just a fyi for for, for well, the future should we try investigating these chambers off of the side yeah wait off the sides oh these oh dude i didn't even see those you guys going that way we're going over here i guess that was happening oh the party's being split <laughs> you guys go down there it looks like a barracks it looks like a set of barracks chambers why do I, I have think, a feeling that everyone's insane in here? I think we're good not coming down here. These are just empty rooms. I think we're good being... <sighs> what is that noise? That's Quill. He's freaking oh. out. He's just kind of like wandering into the dark and he's just like making hey, these hey, like hey. coups. Hey, this, Quill, this Quill, is, Quill, what's going this, on here, buddy? You can't, don't, this don't is definitely... Up. This is definitely the room. Yeah, it is. That's the oh no room. Well, let's get out of the seizure hallway. Yeah, I'm kind the of seizure hallway. My computer's <laughs> having a stroke. <laughs> you you, you kind of stop Quill though, and you, you you can see he's shaking again a little bit. Um. <laughs> um. Oh God. Can I cast Cure Wounds on myself before we go into the next fight? Yes, you can. That Yeah, you can cast Cure Wounds on yourself whenever you want between things. Cool. It seems like it's pretty dark in this world. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm going to kind of like push or like pull Quill against me and we're just going to walk together. He's just like, it's all right, bud. Come on. Come on. Before going into the next room, I'm going to light my sickles on fire. Using okay. My thing, whatever the fuck it's called. Hold hey, up. hey there, bud. Blood. Got Come on, bud. Wait, wait. Blood hey melody. guys, guess what? It's dark. Ooh. <laughs> this so, is... Actually, do I Stop. admit light now? Stop moving. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to set it up. Yay! A little light bulb. Uh, actually, I can make it even better. Give me a second. If you stop moving, <laughs> you keep resetting my shit. Oh, left or right? Go. Now you have a torchlight. Fuck yeah, bro. I don't know how you did this, but this shit's dope. 
the token well, menu. Well, come stand with it... me, my child. <laughs> Taking us, if we go right, that'll take us closer to the, uh, yeah, the, the door appears uh, to be closer locked. to the files. <laughs> Anyone have knock? Have what? Knock. I pick lock. Knock the spell he was asking. He was asking for knock, the spell that opens unlo our locked doors. Um, I got an 18. You fiddle with it for a moment, and then you feel you feel like you're going to get it, and then your hand slips and your lockpick falls out of your hand. Oh. oh wait, do I have... I don't think I have these tools. Oh, you did. Oh my god, I do! I'm going to try again. Okay, roll, roll again. Let me try. I cast, I cast... I cast testicular. God damn it, bro. That's a fail again. You don't even like you're messing with it. You can't seem to get the security pins to lock in place. Is this a sleight of hand check? Yeah, it is a. Oh, oh. It is not a sleight of you. I think you're proficient in these tools, right? Yeah. Uh, Yeah, you'll have a plus Here's... 10 on it. Yeah. Wait, so do I just roll a with a plus 10. You just roll with a plus 10. Yep. A d20, I'm assuming. Yep. Yep. Ooh, that's a one. <laughs> um, you're messing with this and you feel your thieves tools break. I'm going to try a third time. D&D &D Beyond is fucking me over. Oh, finally. <laughs> But I just uh, deleted the these tools out of my bag because they're yeah. because they're broken. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you can just do that. That's what I, I got a dirty twenty with that. A dirty twenty. You're struggling yeah. with it. You're struggling with it for a moment, and then finally you hear. You you feel the last pin, and you're you're being very delicate. And then it pops into the block slides. I'm being so gentle. I'm scared. Oh. You Lord. see within the chamber a glowing red light upon the floor. Near I a also see collapsed staircase. <laughs> Is that the Dude. orb of cast five cast fucking the sixth level magic missile on it? You casting magic <laughs> missile on the orb? What? He, he just said it. He just said it. That means roll it's the done. Ro roll All the right. damage. I, I feel like this is gonna. This is gonna end horribly. <laughs> then I'm we are all going I'm to die. I'm just like, it's the orb, come back! <laughs> roll, roll damage. <laughs> Can you not reach were, it? I thought we were going to ponder yeah. it. Uh, it's a, the magic missile is 120 feet, and it is within my vision. Yeah, roll the damage. It's a 100% success rate, too. Unless they have shield, which, eh, this is an orb. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we go, alright? So... Seventh level magic missile. I love how I'm standing directly in front of this. <laughs> like, right, the so moment me. he sees it, it's just like, you don't even get to react. There are just orbs, these darts of white light flying past your head. I, I, I finally managed to open the door. I'm like, oh my god, I did it. Opens the door instantly, just beams fly past me. <laughs> 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 Not even registering. It's just, oh, I'm about to die. I have a feeling he's going to get over like 20 something points of damage. Is that the magic number? No, he did I'm cast just... at six level. I, seventh level. Seven. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, so are you Bro, ready for making this? a seventh yeah. level spell slot? 37. 37 points of damage. That's uh, crazy. We're all you dead. Watch, you watch the first three hit and it cracks the light from it going away and you start hearing a loud screech with like a, a, this uh, collaboration of just multiple screams within the chamber. And then the orb shatters. And as it does, I have notes for this. Oh no. I know what as I'm doing, guys. I know what I'm doing. The, wiz the wizard always has a plan. <laughs> as it does, um, the screams Orders. get the Drush, screams Drush. get louder and louder within your head um, to the point that it becomes impossible to keep your eyes open 
and you all fall unconscious. Is this magical? It is not. It is just the amount of pain in your head, the splitting sensation in your head that is causing you to pass out. So you all go unconscious. And what, feel, what feels like an eternity goes by. And then you hear within your head the same voice, multiple layers that just says, I you have awful. sealed your I fate. Can't. And for that, I will make you pay. And then there's a, a slight pause and then it just says, avenge me, my brothers and sisters. And the whispers become in your head, just start, you know, piling up over over everything. And then you guys wake up. Finding yourselves <laughs> still within the chamber. However, there are no tendrils. There is no markings on the wall. It is as if there was this creature was never here. Do I still have that tendril in my possession? Uh, it is gone. So I'm, I'm like, we're, we're waking up in a cold sweat. Everybody's half panicked. I'm like grabbing to hug the nearest fucking person. <laughs> like, like... What the hell, man? We could have used that as an ally now it's swearing astral revenge upon us. You haven't you don't know dealt that. with astral beings, have you? <laughs> I'm still uh, filing a report. You all hear now through the radio as it begins, it springs to life. Um, let me remember who the radio man for Spark Company is real quick. Um, oh, yeah. The whispering ambiance needs to stop because there is no whispering anymore. It is now just a dank cave that you're in. There you go. What I say, guys, trust. Um, (laughs) You hear from... You would recognize him as Current. Um, You hear from Current through the radio that just says, uh, Crimson Company, do you copy? Unfortunately. (laughs) We're not Crimson. Yeah. Oh, not Crimson. Sorry. Sorry. Zephyr Company, do you copy? I apologize for giving the wrong name. It's gonna be like, yeah, it's like you've been gone for two years. Yeah. Whatever was being kept here is gone. We killed an astral being. Well, I'm just one saying of us that into the, the radio. You hear a sigh through the radio and just says, We thought you were possibly dead. We've been trying to get in the facility for the last hour and have had no success. Yeah, the uh, staircase is caved in. Our means of exit are currently dampened. I can tell. I can just teleport us out. Oh, I want to quickly check something. We should probably do a sweep of the rest of the facility. Yeah. I'm. I'm gonna check on Quill. Is he doing all right? Add now that the whisper is with... gone. Quill is still a bit. You can see still like the feathers on the back of his Holy neck shit. are still up and frilled. But he is, uh, he's not as frightened as before. He's a little less. What is that? Boxes. Yeah, boxes. That's not a box, is it? Yeah, it's a box. Damn, we're flying through this with these fucking yeah, rooms. He's... Holy shit. Is there anything any, dead? Is anything of that orb like, still around? There's nothing left. No, 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 no. There is not a, a where the orb was sitting. There is a burn mark on the ground. That is it. I mean, I hit it with nine magic missiles. I sure fucking hope there's nothing left. We have sealed our fate. Oh my god! (laughs) And that's what you get for wandering off by yourself. (laughs) I, I, dude, I, I wish stream could see my perspective. Oh no, they can Can see it. Can you please switch it to my perspective? Just. (laughs) <laughs> no, so they can they can see it. It's, zo- it's zoomed out, but they can see you open it, yell "Oh my god!" and then close the door and run. It's, it's just like torchlight, torchlight. The heavens open up. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> you can see Quill though. Like while he's gone, you see Quill like quickly like make his way over to the store. Oh just, my like, god! Bro, opens it up and is just like you- pushing through, Man, weapon bro, ready. Whoa. 
Yeah, Blackstone and Quill, room. you would just hear me scream and then oh shut my God. Yeah, that's why Quill ran. The moment you started screaming, he just made a run for it and, like, got to this Are door. these things? Quill they're all widow? dead, right? They're all dead. They're all laying prone on the ground. They are dead. They're not moving. What's this? Am I going to have to cast sleep on, Qu on Quill, though? Is that a chest? Do I, gotta, just... do I gotta stop him? Quill is just trying to look for the way out of the room now. He's like checking the door. There doesn't seem to be handles on this door. There doesn't seem to be uh, keyholes, nothing on this door. All right, I'm gonna walk up. Party. I don't even like, no, man, dude, this map is fucking massive. Bro, bro I, I, I like, I grab him, I turn him, I'm like, listen, can't be one running off like <laughs> What's uh, everyone else doing? Right, right, right. And he he just panically like that is the easiest way to die, especially by yourself. Uh, uh, hey, he, hey, Ra, you want to see the light of God? He 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 points to the door and just goes, <laughs> in like like a like a man's Ooh. voice, where just like, hey, what's this big exit? Oh uh, yeah, you guys find the light of God. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> the light of. God. <laughs> they're, they're, finding, they're finding is... God in the background. I'm just like, bro. Can I investigate what's in it? This is this is what Man. happened when I Can opened I... the door. I just got flashbanged. I'm in okay. a dark room right now. Those of you that are up there, um, here's what I'll do. We will take the perspective off of these three. Those of you that are up there, um, there's an acrid smell within this chamber. Acrid? Like the drug? A, as no acrid as in acidic oh uh looking into the go pool, over to one of the bodies yeah looking into do the pool any, it is a thick green liquid do we have any flasks or anything uh, uh so maybe we can close off for a sample no with uh 19 strength am i able to chuck this corpse into the the pit wait i want to investigate that there's another corpse. So, did he, so is this just like a cryptophobia that warning now? Like what, what there's the just there's just holes in the there? bodies where where there was tendrils. There are now just holes. That's yeah, all over the body. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm just kidding. Chuck it in stand. the fire. Chuck it in. I'm not picking it up. I'll pick it up. Okay, you, you pick it up. I, also, as a note, right, you don't if, swing that if you way. Would, if you would, if you would afraid stop of moving, uh, if you'd <laughs> stop moving, you no longer have light on you, so I need to take that off. There we go. Yeah, Unless you relight them. In. Nah, I'm not relighting them. All right, they're in there. Corpse so disposal unit. Kind of what if they're just at the bottom? What if there's like a little tube of air and like until we see bones float up? I don't think it's real. Bro, I need a deck saving throw. Well, I'm just oh, going I'm to kidding. I'm, I'm <laughs> no, kidding. No, 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 you said it. You <laughs> said it. Bones like, float like, up. Like... No. <laughs> That's a joke. I know exactly what he's talking about. Just now bones float up. <laughs> can, can I use a um, mage hand to um, cup up like a scoop of this acid stuff? Sure. It's horrifying. And then I'm going to drop it on the uh, stone and see what happens. As How it starts, is it? It, it, I'll give you it, five bucks to drink it. It like burns like the initial layer. Like it, it, it doesn't seem to be a super strong acid. It seems to be pretty standard. It's just a lot of it. This might just be a disposal. <sighs> Possibly. Well, that doesn't make sense. What about the pits with the bodies in it? Why not use it then? Well, they're feeding the creature. Oh, true, 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 true. Make this might points. be for disposing of uh, subjects. Well, I'm going to continue my endeavors. Uh, I, I would still like pick to this investigate real quick. this room a little bit more. Uh, you do get a yeah. buzz through the, uh, the radio again, and you hear uh, from uh, Current again that just says... Uh, we made a break through the through the first door. We're coming down. We just got to get through the next. Roger. Um, any. Well, I was going to say, ask if they have any resistance right now. Are you encountering any further resistance? 
Negative, we've already dispatched all uh, enemy combatants within the compound. Roger, the elimination of the Astro entity as the puppeteer's corpses are out seems to have eliminated any further resistance of the sub levels. Roger that. Uh, and there, there's a long pause, and then you hear uh, from over the radio, you hear Tallow's voice come in, and you just hear it's a bit staticky because of the distance. And he just says, what the hell did you all do? Well, what we thought One, we were going not to be, all. Uh, we thought we'd be helping a uh, astral entity um, escape this plane by returning its orb of power to it. But one of us decided to blast it with around 10 magic missiles instead, which shattered the orb, seemingly killed the entity, which swore eternal revenge on us by uh, communicating with fellow astral entities of the same species. And uh, seemingly killing it, it seems to have removed any physical evidence of its existence here, aside from the... Uh, puppeted corpses that used to ride around them. We've been put on an astral hit list. You hear a very long sigh from Tallow over the radio and just says, grab whatever you can find in there. Make sure there is no combatants left in that facility and then get back here for debrief. We just finished the sweep. Not we really. No. Oh, I got a 22 on this door unlock. Let me in. Okay. okay, there's a lot of documentation on the ground down here. Um, yeah. There's some store rooms. I haven't. We, we should probably uh, secure the base and I see a, what research we can recover. I have a question for the sake of time. Would we be able to just explore all the rooms and then say we collect what we find? What the fuck is this? What is it's, this? Another, it's another chem lab. I think that's a glitch. That? I think that's a glitch that occurred with something I was messing with. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I'm not sure why oh, that light, now. those lights are. Oh, I know what they are. They're chem containers that are glowing pink. That's what it is. Can we They're just say uh, if we. Like each of the rooms are just collecting what we can. That's important or. Yeah. Uh. Right. You go through when you guys do a sweep of the full facility, you don't see anything other than documentation that can be salvageable. Going through the right. entire facility, it's only really documentation you find that describes certain things, things of that nature. Um, and around this point, um, this Quill kind of waits patiently, the three that are waiting by the main entrance. Um, oh, I you hear there. you hear over the radio. Um, we're about to get through the last door. If you guys can meet us here, we need to make our way back to base. Talos didn't sound all that happy about what just occurred here. Yeah. Uh, would you be able to unlock all doors? I'm just going to just roll off. A list yeah, that's of yeah. sleight of hands. I'm just unlocking doors. It's whatever you were. You'd you get through them eventually. So as you all kind of one way or another, all you all as all of you kind of begin to make your way back to each other. Where are you going, Raw? <laughs> Raw's lost. I was going back to the starting area. No, 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 no. The doorway is in a different spot. Are these chests, by the way? Do they have anything in them? No, they're they're they have nothing of use. All right. These two are just running around. Run. <laughs> I'm trying to get back. Well, I just saw him. The whole goblin. Get your ass back here. As you all, all right. kind of gather around this door, you hear a click and it opens to see all of Spark oh, Company shit. waiting for you. Another seizure hallway. Yep, more seizure warnings. I apologize in advance. Somebody cast darkness. Nightmare, 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 <laughs> nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Uh, Tech, their squad leader, the Eric Oker in the back, just says, let's get a move on. We need to get back to base. Um, I, I pat Quill on the head and go, what I say? Patience. <laughs> now we he just rolled, have an eldritch deity after he, us. He rolls his eyes and then just kind of like, <laughs> just kinda, 
After um, you, at least. I was holding one of his temples. I think it knew I was off. So, the lot of you kind of make your way out. Um, coming out of the base, you find it is swept clean. They didn't find anything of use. A dragon company collects all of you back up, and you are taken back to Impact Platoon headquarters. Um, Time to tell them what we learned today in class. When you guys arrive into the room and, you know, get seated, Talos is actually facing the wall. Just kind of like with 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 a uh, with a notebook in hand and is just writing stuff down in this notebook while you all are sitting down. Uh, there's a long pause. And you hear him let out a sigh. You hear the notebook close shut. He kind of half glances in your direction and just says. What did you all do in there? Before I tell you what it caused. We approached the facility. An explosion went off. We woke up in a room surrounded by tentacles. Hung upside down. With the creature telling us to go obtain its orb. Or it would kill us. We left the room. Got attacked by its thralls. The minute we found the orb. Uh, Sherlock Holmes over here blew it up. According to the research notes, it was driving all the scientists in the area to either insanity killing themselves or using it to feed off of people. So morally bad. speaking, the creature wasn't necessarily pure-hearted. Based he upon was, what I understood from the creature, it seems more like the orb was the one to drive this, the scientists insane than the creature itself. It didn't seem like it had any control under, of the thralls. Otherwise, why would the thralls attack us if we were trying to ostensibly help the entity? I would also uh, like to point out, as captain, we were told this was biological weapons. That thing was anything but biological. Well, it was by definition biological. He he lets out a sigh, and he comes over to this board over here, and he flips it, and you can see a map of Osmond um, on it, and you see four major or not? Uh, it's of Osmond and of uh, actually it's it's the continent of Montala, continent you all live on. Oh God, um, it's gonna be missing a chunk. <laughs> Yeah, when, you see this map? Uh, he cuts it in half. Yeah, the, this this part doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> when he points at the map, he points to four locations that have X's on them. He says, whatever you caused, caused a massive destructive force to roll through f these four locations. The oh city of Asport is no longer around. The Great Oak of Quavala, uh, Qu bleh, bleh, bleh. Quilvanos has been Great destroyed point. as well as the city around it. The city of Libra, hold up, hold up. Libran, Quilvanos, the the god of the Fey, the great oak that gets that leads to the Fey Wild. Oh my God! <laughs> the the city of Livran and the forest, all of the forest to the north of it, oh, and oh. the city of Swartgate and its ports have been destroyed. There's nothing remaining of any of them. What was the nature of this energy? We have no eyewitness testimony of what happened. We just know they are gone. We theorize that this creature might have been shackled by our enemy to deliver an explosive. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 did what did you say about Livrin? It is gone as well as all of its forest to the north. I get up and walk out. Do it. Just I, I get up, I walk out, I go straight to my room. I don't, I don't nothing. <laughs> Fucking, I'm out. <sighs> all right. For the rest of you, he right. lets out a sigh. And he says, uh, 
we're going to be taking care of damage control for the next few weeks. You all take the opportunity to rest up and prepare for your next mission. Consider this an R and R period. And he uh, turns, and then just he he walks over to the side of the stage, comes around to the side. So he walks past all of you. He stops behind all of you, turns for a moment, and just says, "Dismissed." And walks out of the room. Well. You got what you wanted. You're going to be remembered on the list of wizards. And soap's dipping. <laughs> I wasn't in the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Quill. Here's a new Quill. four city. I think the fact four towns exploded because I, because I killed one being shows a bigger problem. Quill just kind of sits there, just kind of awkwardly, like, hands in his lap, and he's just kind of kicking his feet, just kind of thinking about what happened. He didn't say anything. What did you do? I exposed something greater than, than what we expected. Your arrogance just killed thousands of people. <laughs> to possibly save millions, yes. You don't know that. We have no idea. You see Quill kind of make a few a few steps to the door as you say that, and he kind of pauses for a moment. And he looks a little green around the gills for a moment, or like under the feathers. And he might he... go down as the biggest mass murderer in the history of the realm. If I didn't, I'd probably have more on my hands. You see Quill just, like, puke in this spot. Nope. <laughs> and then he just walks off. <laughs> Fuck it. Mage fight. Raph is gonna stand up. Are you spell slinging now? <laughs> he said mage fight? <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna stand up for six foot three self and just Punch you in the fucking face. Damn. <laughs> Cast Thunder Wave max level. <laughs> Roll an attack on Blackstone <laughs> on Arm Strike. I think you do zero damage. I don't think you have any strength, do you? 19. Well, I, I plus two strength. I have oh. 14 plus two modifier. So you take three points take of bludgeoning strength. damage, Blackstone. I fucking knocked him on his ass. Like... I mean, if that's what you call knocking on your ass, uh, I cast six <laughs> level sleep. Roll the dice for that. Let's see if it puts her to sleep. <laughs> uh, as I calculate how many dice I have to roll yet again. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Oh no, did it break this button too? I just realized that I might have to recalibrate something. Oh no, it still works. Why does this one work, but the other one doesn't? Oh yeah, it's five it's five D eight. Uh these ones. Five D eight base plus two. So Am I able to use a shield to ward that? It shield does not work against this. Counter spell would work, but it, it, it's not. It's not damage. It's, yeah, it's literally just. Can I get over your hit points to put you to sleep for a minute? Ah, no damage. Uh, I'm. I'm still. I'm still. I'm still rolling. So, I'm at. I'm halfway through the dice. Does a thirty knock you out? No. A thir A thirty no. <laughs> Plus seven plus six plus seven plus three plus four plus eight one more plus five plus four plus ten for my spell uh eighty four health I have eighty five actually That's... at okay, the bro. have you not updated your 
I guess you didn't update your tile. I was looking at your tile. Yeah, I, I was able to figure out how to put it. But I took 21 damage from the creature from the explosion of the game. And then I didn't take any damage after. So I gave you five. No, you're at, you're at 77 health because you took 21 points and never healed. Well, I, I have 106 health. Oh, this is not updated correctly. Oh, okay, I understand. I have 106 health. Well, I'm a uh, my constitution. I have like plus nine. Um, on the save, I I have a 19 constitution. She does have a 19 constitution. <laughs> it's because um I don't have an armor. I don't have armor, so I have to up that. So. It's been pretty useful. Okay, so uh she's like, don't even try it. And she just like storms off. She is very, very angry. Like she she was like crying in her room for days after I we after the other team convinced them that we moved this way. And now she's partied to like the worst places here. Meanwhile, I'm just thinking, what's the point of joining a PMC unit if you're going to bitch out when people die? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, you all, uh, is there any more RP that we want to do for the session? Or is, is it, we just going to end it on Blackstone sitting by himself in the, uh... Oh, I got a way we can end it. How? Grassy Nola's ass. Oh, no. What was that? <laughs> Oh, uh, thank God the stream doesn't zoom in on that. <laughs> thank God for that. I, it, does it make you feel any better if I was thinking of the same thing? <laughs> Not again. <laughs> oh, he just said L. <laughs> okay. Um, um, I am going to take Acrid. That's how oh. I'm going to end this session. Okay. We're gonna um, talk to God. Roll me the the check for it. You know you know the one. I I'm just gonna roll a, a D twenty and then I'll figure out what the Oh yeah, it's a safe thing. Okay. Acrid, your favorite drug Holy out of shit. all the ones I made. I how do I turn on my fucking camera? Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Can you see the number? Do you see the number? No, I see mushrooms. Oh, now I see it. Yeah, I see it now. You got a 19. Plus um, six. Acrid, acrid, acrid. I don't know how to turn off the background. You right click on it. Oh. So no, so camera. It's a vision, no. and you get hallucinations. You get a vision because you rolled a nineteen. Ooh, okay. Wait, do I have to roll a wisdom saving throw? <laughs> yeah. I... No intelligence is intelligence. No, I meant like because I'm seeing visions. Because oh. of the voices, the voices. We'll see. We'll see. We'll the see. voices, I'm gonna... Tyler. What do they? Mean? I'm gonna. I'm gonna first give you the vision. So. Sitting in your room by yourself, you are a little furry companion sitting next to you. You pop this drug and start, uh, you know, letting it take its effects, trying to focus as best you can. Um, your eyes begin to blur. The color is kind of shifting in a weird way, kind of making it so it's impossible for you to see. And in the moment, you feel a tight pain, not pain, but like a tightness in your chest. Um... Your eyes shift, your vision kind of changing to show uh, an open field. You see yourself standing there, uh, various, I guess, uh, grave markers kind of scattered amongst this field. Think of like the, um, you know, the, um, the, the, graveyard for the marines and i think it's in dc where it's just like rows and rows of crosses and stuff oh yeah or yeah. like um yeah, yeah. it's like one of th from uh berserk yeah it's like one of those but it's regular gravestones you can't in this vision you can't read any of them you don't see what they are you also see ghosts out here 
standing over one of them, kind of looking down at one of these uh, these graves before your vision shifts. Uh, you hear a loud whistle, one that brings chills down your spine. And you see Errol, for a brief moment, pushing you out of a doorway. Uh, fear in his eyes for a brief moment before everything kind of swirls into darkness. You feel as if you're falling. You hear the cackling of the skull hound as you are falling and falling and falling. And that's where we'll end in tonight's session. Well, that's not very cash money. was <laughs> very cash money to make more saves. So, on that note, we killed four cities. Soap saw the hat man. Saw the hat man. <laughs> um, <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, Go check out the YouTube to catch up on previous episodes if you'd like, or join uh, and and or follow us on Twitch or join the Discord for updates when we go live, so you can catch all of these sessions whenever they happen. And as always, we hope to see you all in the next one. Peace. Peace.